Did you push the button, Raj? Buttons have been pushed. Buttons have oh, been pushed. We are live. Oh my gosh, man! It's five o'clock. Buttons. Didn't even know. Five o'clock just snuck up on us, man. It's just like that. Five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. How y'all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in, Kelly and Jerron. Hey, thank we you. We are inside yes. the internet right now. This inside. Is, this is inside. People come in the show. Yeah. They're like, "Damn, look at this." We're like, "You are in the internet right now. <laughs> You're inside yeah. YouTube." Well, this is the other side of the internet for them. There it is. Yeah. Sure. On that, yeah, so I guess it is the inside. It's the inside of the internet, man. Yeah. Deep. <laughs> yes, yes. What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? YouTube, we got Twitch over here. We got Kick as well. Hunter's always already starting off Kick. I mean, excuse me, um, Twitch with the prime sub for 12 months. Appreciate you, Hunter. Mm-hmm. Man. Hunter, for those that don't know, he's a guy that loves rogue tire videos. You ever seen those videos go, go down the with just rogue tires bouncing down the freeway and Ooh. hitting stuff? Down the freeway, that. Never like seen... that fly off the. Yes, they fly off. That's cars. very dangerous. Though. Very yes. dangerous. He's a he's a rogue tire enthusiast. Huh. How do you do? You just look those up because. Yeah, you just look up rogue tires. That's, They're out there. That's that's I've never seen a rogue tire, but supposedly they, they, they are out there all the time. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen uh, tumbleweeds. I've seen those, those too. Those are rogue tumbleweeds. Are rogue? I guess. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. You know. You know? <laughs> They have a mind of their own. Uh, Shani mm-hmm. saw one in, uh, on a trip to Arizona, and one hit the car. It was all, and he said, "Oh, a tree ball!" He called it a tree ball. <laughs> he had no idea. He'd never seen a tumbleweed, a tumbleweed before that right. moment. Where right. is he from? Switzerland. Switzerland. He would, called it a tree He's ball. Swiss. Yeah. yeah, I like that. He had no idea. It scared the crap out of him. <laughs> tree ball. Tree ball sounds pretty cool. <laughs> it makes sense. It does. It does make sense. Yeah. Anyway, if you had a book yeah. of everything that Chani said wrong, it would, it would sell. It would be the number one uh, bestseller in the New York Times. Oh yeah, he he called Klein, Klondike bars Klondikis. 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 Mm. Uh, he would have many nicknames for me. He, the, I couldn't even remember. I can't remember everything. It's Mind you, that. he yeah. is the best dude. Yeah, yeah. He is uh, a good thousand. Guy. He's just he's just very funny. I was in uh, Costa Rica with him, and we were eating Subway, and he's like, hmm. Tastes like condom. He <laughs> <laughs> might just say like rubber. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he was thinking of rubber, but he couldn't yeah. think of the word, so the he, condom was the closest the thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, wow. Not, there's okay. way I couldn't even. He called me the wet seal when I'd skate all sweaty, and he'd be like, "Oh, wet seal." I'd snore. He called me a mountain sheep, but oh, he can't say best, mountain, dude. so he says mound, mountain sheep. He's the best. It's, dude. it's, it's just it's just the best. Anyway, sorry. Hmm. Okay. Love yep. you, Shani. <laughs> love you, Much too. love to Shani. He is the best. He is the love best. Shani. But this is episode seven, Nine Club Live, and uh, we got a good show. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Of course, Battle of the Barrack 13 continues, Ooh. and we got some dumb data weighs in on all the Battle of the Barrack stuff, too, which is... Uh, I don't I know. It. I got to watch this dumb data guy like 50 times before I, I it's all math and numbers and stuff. <laughs> this I don't all know works what, he, out. I don't, what he's talking about, but it's very interesting. Hey, I, I actually love it. It is impressive, dude. Oh, all dude. that information yeah. to have it that quick. Those games would have like those last two, three games, whatever. It's in the last week or two. Oh man. If he sent me that Excel, Excel spreadsheet, I'd be like, yo, I'd say right back to him. I'd be like, I don't know what this is, man. I don't know what this is. Also, we got, uh, dude, we got the best Rodney Mullen. Thank you for Chase Gabor, man. The, uh, can Rodney Mullen define skateboarding? 45 minutes of Rodney Mullen just talking about skateboarding. It's so good. We're going to try our best to relay some of the things he was yeah. talking about. It's <laughs> impossible. You, can do. you yeah. just it's said impossible. a key word. Try your best. Try our best. And Del- Dolores Hillbaum ends up in chaos. Chaos mm. ensues at the Dolores Hillbaum. Also, Monarch is out of business. Leticia says goodbye to Monarch. And we got the Skate Mafia 2023 video we're going to review. We got Lottery. some good clips to watch out that. And Reese Knobloch Arrow and Beast part. He comes firing through with this nice part. It's going to be good. Buttery. It's going to be good. So let's get this going, let's man. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Episode seven. Don't forget to like the video. Helps out with the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are also on Twitch. We are on Kick as well. This episode is brought to us by Athletic Greens, Manscaped, Element, Electrolyte Drink Mix, and Woodward Skate Camp. There we go. Thank you for our sponsors. Hey, and you know what? Thank you for everyone for the end of the episode last week. We're like, hey, like the like the video. 
Boom. Bro, I went and checked it the other night. It was like 5,000 likes. I'm like, oh, shit, wow. I guess I'll, it, it wasn't that much. Uh, we I love I'm that, though. We love bit. that participation, though, real talk. Yeah, we appreciate that a lot. That was really cool. It's funny because, like, I'm, well, listen, I'm guilty of it, too. I watch a lot of YouTube. I, I watch it on my Apple TV, yeah. and I don't, it's hard for me to like on the Apple TV. Oh, uh, you can't do it on, that easy on that. I don't know. It's a whole thing. You got to, like, click on it, scroll, and then the Apple TV kind of, it goes... Kind well, it's just easy on a computer because you're just yeah. like, boom, yeah. done. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm guilty of it too, but I try my best. If I really do like something, I, I, I throw the like out there, you yeah, know, because I, I want them to keep making content, you know, and I want them to reach more people that will entail them to make more yeah. content, you know. I you want to pay it forward is what exactly. you want to do. Yeah. Try to. I, yeah. I watched the new Mr. Beast uh, video. Mm. Uh, did you see that one with the train flying off in the huge pit? No, I didn't see mm. that. Oh, it's insane. And it's insane to watch how he makes videos. But mm -hmm. I was, I liked his video, but I was just like, he doesn't need that like, but he does. Right. You know, and I was just like, cool, at least, I don't know, I appreciate his content, it's insane. But, so he's come, he's come so far that they, they, he's getting that like regardless. Yeah, I mean, you it's just, I mean? It, it's starting to come to my mind to do these things now. He's making 200K a day. Yeah. But dude, he's also spending so much, oh, yeah. he, okay, there is, real quick, there is a thing, a part of this video, he got this guy and he gives him, I'll give you five, $500,000. I have like a, just a insane amount of dynamite around it. If you, I'll give you an unlimited credit card. You can build anything you want to protect this five hundred or fifty thousand dollars. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And he gave him this whole. He did this whole thing. Yeah. And he's like, I'll double the money if you let me put more explosives in here. And the guy's like, All right. So he he builds this crazy contraption, and I'll let you guess what he what happens. But hmm. so we're, we we've we've gone from Mr. Beast just giving people money as as tips to actually blowing people up. No, no, not people. <laughs> like but things, things up, up. Yeah. things up, and it was just it's just like a you're spending money on that. Oh, dude, no, to I, save I, money of your own. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's come to. Yeah, that's what's nuts. Wow. Yeah. But anyways. So we're we're actually looking for Mr. Beast numbers, guys. If we can do that, <laughs> we'll we can get 75, yeah. 75 million. V Listen, if one of our videos gets seventy five million views, I think I think we're good for another for a couple of years in terms of like financing the nine club. You know what I mean? Like, wow, uh, that'd be a very special day. So let's get this. If we can get this video, guys, up to seventy five mil views, guys, just that thumbs up really does help, man. We'll get there. We we'll got to do a lot of like and share, please. Okay, <laughs> share it with your grandmother, your uncle, your aunt, your auntie. Everybody, man. Please do. Uh, we got some good news this week because this guy, as far as I can remember, and I think he started with Girl Skateboards, Andy Jenkins is mm -hmm. back with him um, do, being uh, to the art dump. Yes, he is. And uh, shout out to Andy Jenkins. For those that don't know, he's done some iconic, iconic stuff with Girl. Uh, he was there for 23 years, mind you. Started in 93 when, yeah. uh, when Girl started. Yep. When did he leave? He left about what seven, seven, years, seven ago? years ago? Okay, seven years ago. I think he went to Element. He worked for them for a while. Okay, and then uh, where else did he go? Raj was he Uma? Uma. Oh, mm -hmm. dude. I mean, Lance, being Lance. back at Girl is it's back at home and thirty yeah, year anniversary. He's definitely back at home. He's right at, right on time. Yep. You know, it's just cool to see the full circle. You know, um, definitely. I my favorite. I, don't, I wish I had one of these for the wall. Is the the basketball series. Great series. Right. Uh, do you have some of those? Uh, I don't have the series. I definitely have a couple of mine. Oh, for wow. Sure. How many do you have? Uh, I probably have two or three of those. But I'll then buy they did, one a, off they you. did a They did a remake. Uh, you won't? You know, <laughs> let's right. go to Storage and Shit. Okay, yeah. you, you already know to go to Storage and Shit. I'm going to put that up on Storage and Shit All for right. you. No. Um, no, we're happy to have him back. I just walked into the office the other day and I was like, wait, there's a meeting and Andy's involved in the meeting? And oh. I didn't think anything of it because. To be honest, I was like, just like a regular day, and then I, it dawned on me. I'm like, dude, Andy is back, bro. This yeah. is amazing. So, yeah. Shout out to Andy Jenkins, man. We are so stoked to have you back in the building, man. Mm hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Andy Jenkins, man. Iconic art stuff. I'm just stoked. I'm just stoked. I heard the news. He did an Instagram post about it, talking about you know just uh, he spent his entire, I mean, the majority of his professional career as an illustrator, graphic designer, art director. And general catch-all creative wrangler over there. That's how he says it, you yep. know. So, uh, I'm I'm stoked. Man. Was he just girl, or did he do chocolate as well? Ooh, that's uh, a good question. Like, I'd like to say he did both, but I'm pretty sure it was just girl. But I don't know. I don't. I'd like to say he took helm of all the art aspects. So I think that it was everything. But was I'm Evan Hecox? Sure. Was he? 
he did a lot of the girls stuff. He right? did. I think he would only do specific things, but it would be more pertaining to chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, did, I was like, yeah, I don't know. I think that, and I can't speak for it, but I think he would probably, you know, if chocolate needed some graphics, I yeah, think he, he would probably, yeah, step in he would, for sure. Yeah, he would sure. do it. You I know? think he's the main art directors of both brands, but I think they're. There would be certain like um, artists that would be, you know, obviously um, catering to chocolate versus girl. They they all yeah. had, you know, certain artists that they would work for for for, spe- for the specific brand. So yeah, I mean, I, I will girl and chocolate. At, in my opinion, have the best graphics in skateboarding altogether. I think over the years, after thirty years, totally, that has to be the most iconic brand when it comes to like graphics. I don't know any other brand that's lasted thirty years with continuously great graphics, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think, yeah. Overall, they've done a great job, and Andy's done a great job, and here we are. He's back. So, He's back, yeah. baby. It's Shout cool, out to man. Andy Jenkins, man. I, I I love to see it, dude. That's so. rad, though, Kelly. That I mean, you you would say that. I sure. mean, I, when I was a kid, I'm buying those boards. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's important, not just how dope the skate team is, but how internal the gra- like the designing team, yeah. oh, the sales team. Like that is all so cohesive, and people don't realize that. That's for sure. You could have a great skate team, but if your graphics suck, then it's like. Yeah, I mean that definitely is a big part of it, man. Yeah, that's for sure. So, and let's be honest, just how how quickly graphics are turned over (laughs) these days. Mm -hmm. You know, it's tough to get continuously good graphics over and over and over again. Definitely. You know, I thought you were gonna show something of uh, Charlie right now. (laughs) <laughs> like, he's got, he's got that, that lined my, up. You thought that was my little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, <laughs> thought that was my delivery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. But that goes for all brands too. Every brand has their great aesthetic to like you know even like a baker or an alien. Like they have certain looks and certain um, artists that make the brand what it is. So Andy Jenkins did this uh, series here for chocolate, except uh, Paulo Diaz board. That's what he said. Paulo Diaz, his uh, brother, did it. Wow. I think, I swear, if I could have a collection, I have a collection of boards going, but all the old girl chocolate stuff, I wish I had that. Not all of it, but certain, like a U, Chico. I have a Gino, but not an old school like mm. one. I don't know. You got my board? I don't. I, need, I have the, the one I do have is the Enjoy board with uh, our little. Oh, I got I that too. That. I'm going to have you guys sign. Yeah, my, I'll sign it after the show, Dub. <laughs> I didn't bring it today, but I'm, <laughs> when I bring it next time, I'm going to bring it for sure. All right, all right. Great stuff, though. Andy Jenkins stoked to, stoked that he's back, yes. back in action over at Girl Girl Skateboards. Man, he's back home. Very as far cool. as I'm concerned, man. You know, you gotta go off, you know, to see what else is out there sometimes. But you know, the road always leads back to home base. I think. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Was that a movie with Nine Club Chocolate uh, oh, Girl little little collab? collab? I mean, that I just yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Let's move it along to, um, we talked about it last week. I think it's, this is an ongoing thing. They're making a big push right now. Uh, ASICs. ASICs just released a total actual comfort video. That's what they said. Uh, ASICs international team joins the talents of Aquasi, Emil, Gino, Shea, and Monica Torres, along with a grip of fresh faces out in Japan. So they did a video. It's pretty cool. We pulled a couple clips here. Just uh, it's not, not the whole video, but... Some good skating in it, man. I'm a big fan of this dude, bro. Real talk. Quasi? Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. He's he's come a long way. And even, dude, everyone in this, the the clips were solid. Mm-hmm. Filmed great Jacob Harris, dude. Or, yeah, uh, he killed it with the edit. And I, 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 I like the song. Yeah. It was it like really this well. different vibe. For and, sure. Um, I'm just stoked to see uh, the shoes in action now. More of a, a team vibe going. This is incredible. That was amazing, bro. And some runners. I don't even. Yeah. Yeah, he's been skating. Big he's, ups. He's, Yeah. I don't know how he did the, half cap heel like that. <laughs> like I don't know how you do it like that. That went straight. Like that was almost like a. Like, I don't think that was a half. I think that was something else. Man. I think that was. His own, <laughs> I think they made a, He made up a trick, man. <laughs> But it's like it's like a it's like a hard flip, but with the heel flip or a fr- you know it's, it, a, it's a half cap heel. But yes, the way he did the it is not the, it's not the norm through the sure. leg style, right? Yes. And wait, does that is that a late shove or did he bonk? He bonked bonk the back, yeah. back wheel. Bonk late shove, like I don't even see that, bro. Like that would happen to me. Like if you yeah, just mess up on the ollie and you're like, damn it. Yeah. That was I'm, with the back truck too. That wasn't the front. Nah. Get him. Hey, he's he had some coverage this last two weeks, dude. Yeah. 
he's come through and uh i saw a little video on a, on or a little edit on village psychic that did on him and it was cool to hear his like his work ethic on skating he's like yeah one side is i work i want to work on a trick at the skate park i go film it and then i'm done with it right i'm on to the next one he learn. sounds like old school skateboarder yeah. to me <laughs> <laughs> what was this damn near what we did oh it's yeah. cool to see uh brent Ashley. That's not him. Oh wait, it's not. That's him. not. Him. <laughs> that? That's Emil. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, there weren't that many uh, Brent Ashley clips in this, to be honest. But Emil freaking killed that dude's gnarly. There was um, damn, what was it? Uh, Kieran? No. Yeah, this is Kieran yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, Kieran. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kieran, Kieran. Kieran. He's amazing, dude. He's from Australia. He uh, he's fun to watch, dude. He can. He goes for it. And uh, then this guy. Kieran Wolf. Brent Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no? Don't no, don't oh, do that. No, 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 no. no. That's Gino. No. But That's... this is so true. Like, I'd rather watch Gino push. This is this This going down the street, dude, and it looks better than ever. It's, it's funny, amazing, man. I don't bro. know if a lot of people I mean, even the newer cats, you know, I don't know if they they'll they get it. You know? But I think that we keep celebrating people like this. It's like, I don't know if I got Christian Asoy when I was right. growing up. I don't yeah. know if I got Steve Caballero or Lance Mountain, you know? But you, as you get older, these people always keep being celebrated. Totally. Yeah. You, you, you understand yes. after a while. All you have to do is go back and peep a few parts and you'll get it. You'll get it. But Gino is always known for like, He's not, he doesn't want to go out there and just push down the street. And no. That's his video part. He wants to do insanely hard tricks. Yep. And his video parts have been that. Totally. So... I'm sure he's like they're making this video. This boardside fakie manual, like that was amazing to watch. And yeah. like you know, his this is like, Emil's this. I mean, it, to, to be honest, it just boils down to we just want to see you skate. I mean, I yeah. hear that. That's just the 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 sense of everything. You've had an impactful career. Motherfuckers just want to see you skate. That's yeah. it. for sure. For sure. Yeah. And I, sometimes it's hard for him to maybe see that. Or like or yeah. like fine, I'll just go. Sp- it's hard for anybody to yeah. see it, especially when you're aging, you know? It's like, it's yeah. tough out there, man. You yeah. know, you just, you, in your mind, you know what you are capable of, but is your body still yeah, with it? Totally. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. Dude, yeah it's just, it's just tough, you know? Shay, shout out to Shay, bro. Constantly killing it. Monica Torres. Monica. Monica Torres as well. I just, it, it created a vibe for the brand that was different than anything else out there. Yeah. You know, I had like it had a vibe to it, and it wasn't just like any other thing. Like it wasn't like any other edit. So, I like what they're doing. Continue, please. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. They, I mean, like you said, we're flowing a lot of other people that aren't in this video, like Walker and a few other people. But and these are dudes that seriously deserve to be sponsored by a shoe company, straight up. So yeah, shoe deals are hard to get. They are. It'll be interesting to see what um, what comes of them. Yeah, A six in skateboarding, I should say. Yeah, you know? um, I think they're doing a great job so far. Yeah, in just what they are getting out there yeah. and how they're going about it. You know, yeah. I think I'm wondering good, good people behind them. I love seeing. I, I don't know. I'm a big fan of baseball and stuff like that, and I or sports when you see big moves people make. Like, oh, LeBron James is coming to the Lakers. Right. Like, whoa. I love kind of seeing what these shoe brands are doing with stuff like that. For sure. You know? Like, oh, we're going to get, yeah, Jamie Foyd, New Balance. Oh, my God. Like, or Tiago over there. That was a big shake when he went from D.C. to New Balance, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. I wonder what the, if they're, if ASICs will yeah. be doing something like that. Well, you have to put the right people in place, first of all. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of companies don't do that. A lot mm-hmm. of companies come in and they try to just have their own team. You need goddamn core skateboarders running your shit mm-hmm. down yes. there, you know? And that's what that's what New Balance did. They, mm-hmm. they got the chorus of the core dudes to go out there and uh, run, their, run their program. Not only that, but they did it behind the scenes, too. So I think behind the scenes as well to make sure that you are getting the best intention for the dudes that you're representing. Like, look, ASICS has been around for for days. Yeah. And I want to see them do well in, in, in trying to come into skateboarding. But, like, they're going to have to listen to their skateboarders. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like, first and foremost. For so sure. if they're not listening to them, 
and they think that they just could come in and do whatever they want. Oh, we're A6 or what? No, you need to listen to the skateboarders. But that's what I'm saying. If you got to get the you got to get the core yeah. skateboarders in there working, big time. You know, big time. Casper because there, like, he's in charge for sure. Like, but it can't just go. be Casper. It needs to be a, a a team of dudes that come from this. But that's where Casper comes to play. Where he's like, I need those that cast exactly. So, so if, that's he can, kinda, if he can fulfill that, I think they're going to do just fine. I think you kind of have that at every big kind of a you know bigger shoe brand for sure uh was it yasha over at adidas mm -hmm. uh well you had at one point you had hunter at nike mm -hmm. yep uh you got bird over there now yeah bird like you yeah. have those the big dogs that yep. are just no skateboarding they come from it so yep. what you, that's a big deal bro it yeah, really is you yeah. can't just have like some corpo dude thinking he could just run like a skateboard department like it's just not gonna work unless he's like really beyond receptive on listening and paying attention to the needs of what skateboarders are gonna be asking for yeah sebastian palmer over at uh new balance boom just yeah associated the team right like got a good team together that skateboarders means the designers yeah it means everything so good stuff man can't wait to see what unfolds over here yeah. over at um a6. I'm sure this isn't the last we'll hear of them. We no. just started. Yeah. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We've well, been I mean, talking about it for the last couple of weeks here. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're staying they're staying in the in the in the news. In the fold here. That's right. That's right. You already know. How was the chat doing? Everybody good over here? We got YouTube. YouTube's doing well. I see over here. Twitch and Kick over here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Twitch is going crazy. Uh, Mama Ozzy with the uh, ten bits. Thank you for that. And the seven bits. And the hundred bits, God damn! Let's go, hey, going thank you. going crazy with that. <laughs> and let's see here, YouTube. Thank you for oh man, Vegico Records, man, OG in the game right here. Shout out to Nikki, aka Lil Hulk, one ninety nine. Thank you for that. Let's go, Ducky Fucky with the ten dollars. <laughs> Just commented weed. Hey. There you go. I don't Why think YouTube's going to be allowing that pretty soon. <laughs> that, that those kind of names. Yeah, I've heard. I heard that they're really going to crack down on uh, handles. Wow. Just saying weed. No, no, no. His his oh, screen like, name's Ducky Fucky. Oh, okay. oh yeah. yeah. Eh, what are you going to do? You know I, always I always trip out. Like, how do you introduce yourself like that? Like, oh, hey, I'm, you, I'm. Oh, on on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, yeah Ducky Fucky. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh yeah, I know you. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Well, he can't say his real name because we don't know him by his real name. We know him by Ducky Fucky. <laughs> yeah. It, it's getting hot in here, dude. <laughs> I'm fine. Dude, I'm just, I don't you know. It's that time of the year. a little sweat like, coming down. It's that time of the year. I walked in here today. I was like, oh, it's, it's about to get hot in here, dude. It started. Yep. Corinthios with the 1999. Thank you for that, Corinthios. Killing it. What is that? A picture of Rome? What is that? What is that? I don't know. It's hard to see. Is it the... the no, the, 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 the... Stonehenge? Stonehenge. Oh. Yeah. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Good stuff. We got to talk about our good friend, good homie, Matt Price, over on... Um, oh, I'm, uh, Free. Yep. The free. followed segment. Yeah, they yeah. did a followed mm -hmm. over there with them. Pocket? Pocket, excuse me. Hey man, I'm, I'm all over the place. <laughs> it's all good. You get uh, back on Brent, track here. This is a little interview with Brent Ashley they did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on Trans World. I knew yeah. I, Brent, <laughs> Brent is a damn good photographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. He looks a little different than I remember. Yeah. No, he looks the same. Oh. Yeah. Matt is the man. He's been around for a long time. Uh, it is. He's a workaholic, dude. And I love how much he loves skateboarding and. It's cool to see his behind the scenes of how he does stuff and how into photography he actually is. And he's right in my little city, right there in Van Nuys. Did you, so that did you see that like that? That's the same camera. One's film and one's digital. Mm -hmm. So and it's funny. I'm like, it's seeing a photographer. I, I don't have this. I don't want any film. Right. I, if I take a photo, I don't care. I just give him digital. It's easy and it's there. Right. But photographers, how they. If they still have the option to do digital, he still wants to do film sometimes, and I think that's pretty cool. I think a like lot they of still have places to, to develop these. Yeah, you pieces. go to uh, the little kiosk outside CVS. <laughs> Is that still real? They don't Where got that no you more. You make some keys and you get your phone, uh, your photos developed, man. Wow. No, in every CVS, I think they got a little Is it photo. Still? Yeah, okay, cool. Go into a little Walgreens or something. He has a printer. 
uh, in his room or in his office. Yeah, but said, but develop, developing photos is a yeah. whole yeah, technique. Dark room and, and, yeah, and, the, the dark re- and all the chemicals and stuff like that. I don't know. I never got into photography. I barely take photos on my iPhone. I just, his whole thing, with that cover he got with Louie going over the trash can. It's amazing. He's like, it's just funny how that random thing where you just. This you, one. Yeah, you just. He, it's a great photo. It's man. amazing. Bro. I love how he also talked about how he got that photo. Yeah. He's like, he had to stick his little tree branch in mm-hmm. the thing to push it, but also he took a sequence of it. Yeah. He's like, I just got lucky, man. Like, that. We'll take you it. You know. But this was over on, you know, ESPN, and I mean, this was, it kind of went viral. It's yeah. perfect. It's it insane. I, I, oh, yeah, it really is. He could have come back just a little millimeter. Oh, though. on the bottom so part, they get a little millimeter. Yeah, just, no. it's, not, it's not exactly the competition. <laughs> composition <laughs> no. isn't exactly. Well, because the what? tree, there's the tree that sticks out in the top part under the. Oh, you should yeah. have photoshopped <laughs> all that out, man. He could have moved him over a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. That's centered, bro. That's centered as centered could be. Yeah. But I love, I love Matt's uh, photography. Great Always guy. have been. He, he's a get up in your face yeah. and shoot the photo type guy. And I nice. love that. That's why I love fisheye. Right. I feel like like long lens doesn't really eh, sometimes especially with the hd now sometimes the skaters like this big and there's like because they want to get that rose bush over there they want to get looks you know what i mean yeah. in your face i love fish i never get old for me totally love it love well it. it's me well he was talking earlier on in the episode about it's he's like yeah, i don't really chase hard tricks i just chase things that would look good Mm. with good style and then all those photos are incredible totally like you know finding that right spot the lighting even later on in the episode it's like it's like this is the perfect lighting we could have just waited all day and just instead of skating all day we could just be like oh let's just go skate right now right and gotten it done but uh, that's like warping back to like what what it was initially like it was just based on a still shot so i mean look when you can get up in there and get like a really good shot and be proud of that like straight up that's a great fucking but that Great would, thing. doesn't that, it would be so hard. I mean, you could do it, but you wouldn't know if you got it or not if you're doing it on film. Right. You're just like, you did it. You're like, I don't know if I got it, but hope we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Like, you know. Yep. But he, he I went skating with him. I mean, I skated with him a bunch, but when he was, he did a cable back nose one sequence of Tom mm-hmm. Asta at like the uh, Rose Garden ledges. And man, it was crazy to watch in person because he is literally like right next to you. Yeah, close. And it, just, it doesn't matter if it kicks you or not. He just doesn't care. It's hmm. so like as long as they close as I could possibly get, and it comes out banging every time. Right. He's yeah. willing to risk it to get the shot. Yeah. This one, this is my favorite. Uh, this is what he's talking about right here when he um, he was skating with Cairo. Look at that. I love that photo, man. Yeah. In your face, shoe. But that's the one where, you're, I mean, even Cairo kicked the uh, the camera right there. Yeah. When you get that close, you yeah, you risk it. Yeah. And he uh, he was he said something pretty funny. Which just makes total sense, and I and I oh, actually one thousand percent agree. It's like there was a cover he shot. Um, was it Aaron Susky like five of this thing, and he ended up not landing it. It was gnarly, but it was like you know he could have done it. He got smoked, but then he showed us a uh, cover of Mark Suchu doing the the Suchu grind, mm-hmm. and he's like, if I would have done, if I would have gotten this cover, shot this cover, and he never landed that, that would be nuts. <laughs> You know, like to put an NBD out like that right. and then on a cover, on a cover, mm-hmm. not landing it. And then he's like, there's a Jamie Thomas thing. And he's like, even though he landed, it was like a Wally off this weird thing. And he's like, even if he didn't land, it, it wouldn't matter. It just looks cool. Right. You know, because he's, he's he's saying the easier the trick, like you, Jamie Thomas could easily wall ride over this thing. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Yeah. He couldn't make that. Yeah. It looks awesome. But like, yeah, so does this over or suit you grind. But yeah, that it would be nuts if you. I mean, I understand. I get it. I get it. I get the whole not landing photos. Yeah. It just, it happens more than you want to think. Or sure. it's just a photo of not the land, but it's the best photo yes. there. It's that, yes. it's that photo that it's not the land, but they landed it. Totally. I wonder so, how. They're, they're, I, I, I get it, you know. I wonder I how much that happens now. I have a feeling it doesn't happen too much now because people are so good. I, I would I bet it still happens. Yeah, I, think so, so, too. I, I, I wouldn't say so it would just happen sure. as much. Maybe not as much, but Maybe back not. in the day, for sure. I mean, you're talking about 20 rolls of film, 50 rolls of film, and then they get one good photo. Especially if you landed it. Like, they want to get the best shot that they captured. So, landed it or not, if there was one that happened three tries earlier, and that shit looked just dope. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I don't is, think... it, is it happening more often now? No, probably because of the digital aspect. Who yeah, knows? I just have a feeling like people getting covers these days... Like, which is only one place to really get a cover. 
Mm-hmm. Remember Jamie Foy was talking about it, how he uh, was a kickflip back 50 on the rail mm-hmm. and he had to go back to get the f- oh, photo. Oh, uh, front crook. Kickflip from Crook. Get, kick from, uh, from crook. Yes. Yeah. He had to go back and get it yeah. and it was already run. Yeah. So... I mean, but, but it he happens. Did it, but yeah. he did it. He went back later and did yeah. it. But yeah. yes, I think it. De- I think it definitely happens. If they get, if they get a good photo, yeah, they're going to run it for sure. And they're going to get air. They're more if likely they're if, landing if, it, more likely if it's landed, they're going to run it more more so than if they didn't. Yeah. But if yeah. the photo is just un like deniable, then yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it's funny, but uh, I mean, I, it was cool to hear. You don't, yeah, you don't hear much about uh, photographers these days. Yeah. Well, there's only one publication around here, yeah. the Thrasher. Yeah. But overseas And they got a couple there's... staff guys on there. So yeah. Yeah. even like closer now, actually closer is closer. pretty closer. What do you keep calling it closer? Closer. I don't know. <laughs> it's it, it's pronounced differently, closer? but it's spelled the same. <laughs> closer? Yeah, closer. Well you closer. said closure. Closure. That's different. With the it's a E at the end. Close closer. Closer, yeah. Closer. Yeah. Now nah, it's closure. Oh. Right, he I'll just talk. forgot the E. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just said, hey, you forgot the E, dude. And nobody said, now it's just, we're going to let it roll oh, the way now. that it, for now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's kind of like weekend, you know? They only have the WKND, mm-hmm. but you know what it is. It just, yeah, not yeah. True. it's a misspelled, he misspelled it. Yeah. So he's right with it. All right. Good stuff, man. Listen, uh, bacon for you. Thank you for the $69, man. Is that big ups what? to Damage Skate Shop in Duluth, Minnesota. Let's go. Okay. Random Ryan. donation. Shout out to Ryan Kula. We appreciate you, $17.42. We'll take it, Kula. <laughs> Thank you for that, bro. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Ryan Kula in the building. That man. man. We see OG in, the, OG in the skate show in the, in the house right here, too. Yeah. Good stuff. I, I do like having the chat here, you know. It's, it's, it's very too. nice. Definitely. It's very nice. Get to see a lot of stuff. Jordan, Jordan Denny with the uh sub sub with the prime over on Twitch. Appreciate you. And everybody holding it down on kick. I love to see it. Brady Harmon and Deegan and Torgan. Ask them questions, chat. Yeah, what 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 questions do you have for us? AMA, man. AMA. <laughs> Ask me anything. Yeah, yeah. I knew what you were going. With I that. felt like I felt like um, who's that dude? Uh, AMA. Oh, AMA. Harry Carey. Harry yeah. Carey. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> AMA. AMA. Would you rather be a top top scientist for field or have mad cow disease? I'd rather have <laughs> mad cow. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, what's up? Got to talk about this. This was over the a couple days ago or whatever craziest no slide i've Dude. ever seen in my life it's not that's not steep right not too steep 48 stairs how, how many stairs i'm not going to sit here and count all uh, of them actually, but how I many i didn't even think about counting that how many that's stairs how big is, it is that yeah i didn't think about counting those i'm going to say th- uh, 35 to 40 no that's about 27 <laughs> <laughs> you said 27. Seven. 27. That's about 27. Pause it and count it. One, two. I can't count that. I have to get down there. Oh, my God. Ask AI. I can't. I, I start losing count. I, I have. I don't know. Yeah, well, 27. Well, ju- <laughs> June. Ben? June Ben is his name. I, I hope I, I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's, it's in a video that. Uh, just came out called Wallop. Wallop presents Smile, filmed and edited by Wall Fan. That was awesome because, dude, skateboarders in China have like the the, the spots they have are incredible. Psycho. And to see someone killing it out there, there's not a lot of skateboarders out in China right now. You know, <laughs> like, like yeah, everybody on YouTube not. trying to guess. Yeah, <laughs> got crazy numbers being thrown I think out there. Thirty might be the one. I yeah. think it's a thirty. Yeah. yeah, you think it's thirty stairs, JC. You're you're closer they, to the thing. I right, stopped count, and count it. I counted it, but the top stairs sort of start to blend together. Exactly. Well, how many stairs are in between each post? <laughs> oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That last one has more. One, two, three, four. Ah, I see. You can't do it that way. <laughs> one, so two, three, four. four. One, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four times six. Twenty-four. Twenty-four plus times five. Or plus one, five. Twenty-nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-six plus the five. Twenty. Wait, what? Thirty-two. 
well, I got to carry the one. I, I, <laughs> where are you going? Divide it by style. three. Yeah. All right. But I got a full. Doesn't matter. It's a long rail, twenty nine plus. That Let's has go. to be the the biggest, steepest rail ever. No slid. You got to times yeah. it by pi, three point one four. Okay, like that might be the most simple, scariest trick you could do on a rail like Especially that. Especially when it's steep. Yeah, that is to, to no slide. Yeah. Dude, I saw this and I was like, "Dude, are you kidding? Me? Are you yeah. are you kidding me right now?" Yeah. The 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 trick that he chose out of all tricks is a no slide. I mean, what, what, would you, what would you choose? Nothing. I would walk right past that thing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, out of all the tricks, you would see uh, like a a, a a feeble grind down yeah, that, 50, 50. A back, uh, even a front board. To True. be honest with board you, board slide, I could see no he knows, slide. No slide was a hubba. Yeah, exactly. He didn't. Yeah, it was. He like, like pressed he, into it. He kind of like was like, eh, eh, like fifty fifty. He did it how Guy did it on that World Savings Rail. Yeah, but this is a small I know. rail. That's why I'm saying it's that's crazy. This is crazy, definitely. Well, I mean, he's something tall and not tall is what you mean. It's weird. Some, <laughs> he got there. He looked at it. Something called out no slide to him, and he did it. It's incredible. It really is. Jesus. I mean, it was like his part was pretty gnarly, but it wasn't. It wasn't on this caliber until like how we started off. Yeah, and then you're like, it was cool. Like switch crook sticky heel and crook nolly heel. You're like, whoa, sick. And then you're like, okay, twenty nine, thirty stair no slide, bro. (laughs) Not like this cheat rail where it's like a mellow thing where you can sit on a fat rail where you can like kind of like a a hubba like that where you can just jump off. Oh my, that is nuts, bro. Shout out to this dude. What was it? June Bin. Yeah. Congratulations on <laughs> Look at that. Uh, a Guinness Book real world record right there. Did, yeah. did, they, did he submit this or what? <laughs> <laughs> Trick of the year? I just, dude, I saw that and laughed. I legitimately you put that like, right in the, in the queue. You yeah. were throwing this like, out. I got to talk about this, man. Oh my God. It was. God shout out to Kula again for that odd donation. <laughs> What's he doing? 3144. 3144. And, and like you. thinking about like the, the, the freaking thing sticking up in the rail, like the support beams where you're like, oh my God, get even, your wheels stuck. He didn't even think about it. He just went and did it. It did remind me of Alfonso Rawls's no slide back in the day. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. I mean, even back then, I was like, no slide? Like, whenever yeah. I see a no slide down a pretty massive, like, skinny rail, I yeah. just trip out. In a round Certain rail. In a round rail. No slide. Round rails, no exactly. slide's a little bit different. You know, and, and they they both got the they got the the way to do it. And like Alfonso, like he hauled ass oh, yeah. on his no slide. And it's like two different styles of rails, obviously. But geez. like, I wonder what Nigel thought when he saw that rail. And he's probably like, no slide. <laughs> Jamie I, Foy. I think everybody, no everybody, slide. I think everybody. That wouldn't be that. their go-to's. That would be like Jamie Foy. Would be like Crook would make more sense than a no slide. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sure. Like that's just my thoughts like that makes I, sense. I always think about what handrail skaters would think right i don't know that thought but i kind of can get it yeah you know somewhat here oh, it is here it know. is what is this a, it was the expedition one video are you kidding me here it was We're in play right here it no, was no, in, no no that's not it it was in a. it was in trans world video there it goes there it goes it was in the okay this is uh it's in alone it's in both videos actually what is this it was in uh at the end it was in ie not ie um the one sight and scene Okay, but here it is, though. Oh, the feeble. Yeah, but we, they, no, they put no the slide. no slide in here, too. There's a front board. There's a no yeah, slide. There it is. That is sketchy. Yeah. What year was that? Down long ago. Alfonso. Uh, 2002? Mm. 2001? I went to that premiere. Really? Yeah, an expedition premiere in uh, Encinitas, La Paloma Theater. And I was like, that's the company that I want to ride for. And you like, got on that thing. <laughs> I was like, right. I'm going to escape for you that company. You set your mind to yeah. it. <laughs> you know? No, I love that company, man. Shout out to Ryan Kula for another 3144 and followed up by Bacon for You with the 3144 hashtag Kula. I think he's trying to give us his phone number. Oh, is this? Oh, is it? He's. Oh, is Raj this, knows oh, how wow. to. Okay. Just put Write that down. Yeah. Yeah. Figure this hey, out. Anyone wants to call Kula, just hit him up. Anthony Lafranzo with the $2. Uh, Kelly, you ever, you ever skate Milwaukee? I have. Uh, skate Cream City Skate Shop or Skate Park. Oh, yeah. I've been that there. Park is yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was cool. Done a couple demos there, I think. Yeah, so fun. the one day they had like a curved. I can't ride. remember what was 
there to be. I, I mean, I just remember skating there, but I did a demo. Uh, did, but we did an audio demo there, Raj. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool skate park. It's a great skate park, man. <laughs> Milwaukee, Milwaukee. I'd always trip out on the uh, <laughs> Milwaukee Brewers hat with That's the just, M, but it never looked like an M because it was all three different colors. Oh, I just remember the baseball mm. glove with the ball in the middle. That's what mm. I always think. Well, that that well, is that that was. Yeah, yeah I right? think like it is still is. It's yeah. still right, but the, 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 oh, I know you're talking about the yeah. M, but it was like a red, white, and blue. It just looked weird. Uh, <laughs> just it didn't look right. It didn't look right. Uh, uh. Ryan Cool with the nine dollars seventy six cents first oh. part of the number. <laughs> nine seventy six. <laughs> <Nine, seven, seven, laughs> <laughs> you're the best, bro. Funny. Uh, Funny guy over here, this Kula. Yeah. Oh, Montreal Expos? Is that what it was? That's what, yeah. It was... X you were thinking yeah. about that one. You're right. That company's not... You're or right. that team's not around anymore. They're done. Mm. Yeah. They went... No wonder. Nobody can no, yeah, what recognize what their it? logo is. Did they, get, did they get moved? They did. I'm blanking on which city they moved to. I'm I'm insane. Oh, that chat knows. Yeah. I can't remember. SDX, where'd they go? Or did they just get... Um, I thought Expos had a dope logo. It was cool. Oh, yeah, they went to the Nationals. There what do you mean, is. Montreal? Wait, 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 wait. I think it was they, the Nationals. They went to the D.C. Washington, D.C.? Yeah, that's what it was. Because D.C. came late Hold to the on. game. Montreal, yeah, Montreal Expos, yeah. There's some good, man, some good teams that got, you know, changed up. Remember the Supersonics? Seattle. Yeah. 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 Sean Kemp. Gary a lot of, yeah. A lot of teams move. The glove, man. Josh, man, shout out to home base. I checked him out today. $2. Thank you for that, brother. Let's get into some Willow talk. Willow, Willow. man. Willow's yeah. been killing it, dude. Um, in his art. Yeah. yeah. Skateboard art. This was a good video. It was called uh, Visiting Willow's World from Solo Skate Mag. Um, I got to give it to, to Willow. Not only was he a phenomenal skateboarder, I was a big fan of his skating. Obviously, he's still skating. But um, that time comes when you got to kind of make a choice mm -hmm. of which direction you're going. If you're continuing with the skate game, or you're going to move on to the next chapter in your life. Yeah. Um, I think every skateboarder, no matter if you're pro or am or whatever, oh, you're, gonna you're faced with always, it. There's going to be a pinnacle moment. You're where faced you have with to, it. Yeah. Definitely figure that out. It's whether you want to work in the industry or you want to go outside. And I think if you go outside and you don't have a hobby or something that you love at first, it's hard to figure out and scary. Yeah. yeah. I found it very interesting that he had a, I, I'm going to say it was an epiphany. I'm going to call it the epiphany that he was looking at the skate spot to go do a, to do a trick, uh, a Vans thing maybe. Uh, and he didn't, he wanted to do the trick, but he didn't want to do it because he felt like doing it. He, it, it remember he was talking about like the gap. He said, oh, I kick flip it and wanted to do a varial heel down it or something. Uh -huh. mm, and he, he, immediately was like wait a minute i'm not even feeling this i just want to do it because i want to get the photo or the clip yeah, yeah yeah you don't want to actually do the trick just to do it right he's like oh it's a job and then yeah. that's when he literally had this like a, yeah. he's like i'm not going to do it anymore he called up all of his sponsors and was like dude I'm, after this year i'm done and I he mean, was still in a position like to like still get a check for a while 100 yeah. percent. but that's that's where i get tripped out on skaters like him that are huckers when there's a point when you stop wanting to huck. Totally. I know a bunch of my friends that were, you know, known for that. And then you got to like, you, there comes a point where you don't want to jump down shit anymore. Well, they didn't diversify their skateboarding. Well, they were good, but they were yeah. known for that. Yeah. You know, I, I want to say, okay, Kenny Hoyle, love Kenny Hoyle so much. And he's so Great talented. Team. Super talented. On like tech manuals. It's insane. And it's hucking was it rounded him out so gnarly, yeah. you know? Because he would come... I remember when he first came out, it was like, A, he can do, like, switch heel, back tail shoves, and I can't even do that, like, whatever. But he would jump down huge stairs and yeah. make it look so... Like, his his part in It's Official is insane. Yep. Nolly, uh, three, uh, 360 down the stairs down, like a 12 stair down in the O side, but or Encinitas, but... it's He hit his head super hard mm. one time, and ever since that moment, and you're like... Why am I actually doing this? Mm. Like, I'm hurting myself. And like, man, do I really want to jump down this thing for a photo? I don't even care if I land this. Right. Like, you know, it's like, um, and like I said, I love Kenny Hoyle. And there's certain dudes that just jump, like, what what people have come through skating and they come in hot because mm -hmm. they're gnarly and then they just fade away. Yeah. 
Oh, we've seen a but lot. Can it yeah, be, can, you think there. it was because of that fall that that changed everything in his outlook of skateboarding? I think he it stopped him from jumping down stuff. Wow, it for sure it for sure did. Okay, I think he he he, he was messed up. Like it, I felt horrible. He like cracked his skull. Wow. So it's like one of those things, and I wouldn't want to do that either. Yeah, but it's not. That's not the. You're not trying to do that. Obviously, the love of skateboarding. You're going to try to do what you're capable of doing. Yeah. And you never know what's going to happen. That's for sure. Yeah. But majority of the time, he's been successful. Yeah. So then that one time just ended him thinking like, hey, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. But it's like, just so similar to Willow, it's like you're really going to the, he's jumping down. All of his clips are jumping down huge stuff. Yeah. When did he say he kind of retired? Was that 40 years old or 35 maybe? It was like around that age and it was, he wore a large t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> um I mean, it's at that Who's time, that? too. We were, we're speaking on Willow, Willow when he Willow. was retired. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He talked about it in the thing. I just can't remember what he said. Yeah. Yeah. If it was 35. I think it was 35. And he's 40 now. Yeah. I think that's what it was. I think so it's... been five years. Now. Yeah, and then, like, if that's what you're known for... For sure. And, like, you don't want to keep doing this. Like, like I remember going out, and I was jump down stuff, and I'd be like, damn, I got to... I, I told these guys I'm going to jump down these stairs, and it sounds fun, but also don't want to do it. Yeah. You know? That's why I'm glad I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> again, I would do it very tastefully here and there, but that wasn't my claim to fame. And big ups to those guys that really that's how they made, you know, mm -hmm. their claim to fame, you know. But again, you can't be doing stuff at 25, jumping down stuff that, you know, when you're 40, 42, 43, 44, doing the same thing, Look bro, with your body. I know, but he's an exception of the rule. There's Who? always exceptions, There's always going right? to be one or two dudes that will go beyond that, but, like, that's not the norm. So he's not living the norm. And, and big ups to, to Andrew for being able to sustain that, bro. Like, that's crazy. not that's not easy. That's no, crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's still, he diversified as well. Like, big time. He's like... Big time. And, and just manuals. by what he's doing yeah. now, bro. Yeah, like, you know, he, he does jump down stuff, but it's very selectively. Oh yeah, you know, and it's not like as big as it used to be, but it's not like he's progress like getting bigger and bigger no. and bigger. He's just showing you can it, still do it. You still do it, and you're yeah. like, oh, that's timeless, super dope. Yeah, no, it's I love all the other things that he's doing. To be honest, like I want to see him do what he can do and be comfortable doing it. The the thing is, I'll, I'll go back to uh, Willow really quick. Was that he has such personality in skating? I never really knew him too well. I met him mm -hmm. at Soltech. But he was a guy I think skateboarding naturally just liked it. They weren't really looking forward to him to perform this crazy video part all the time. It was that skateboarding loved having him around. Right. And I think that he was also out of the mix. He's also out in... Yeah. Where, where is he living? In Germany? Yeah, Germany. Yeah. Like, I mean, he has his life out there. You know what totally. I mean? But, I mean, skateboarding, he everyone loved hearing about him. Like, he would had his accent and he would say funny things. And, right. He, he would huck though, that's for sure. But yeah, Look at it's the he, stuff he makes. That's, he's yeah. making that. That's man. super dope. Yeah, beautiful stuff I love he it. makes, man. Look at that. Super dope. It's almost like he's probably having way more fun yeah, doing that wheels. now than he is. What, what if he was still trying to be a pro skater? Uh, I mean, you know, yeah. Beautiful. Like they're being a pro skater is awesome. Like it is one of the coolest things you'll ever do. But it's also amazing dope. to find some other like. I don't know, creative outlet. Definitely. And look, I mean, he's killing it, bro. Yeah. These are great pieces right here. What is that? It's a bottle opener? Because the top part has a. Mm. Um, looks like those... It looks like a plug of some type. It's not open our beers. A plug of some type. Oh, God. Look at that. It's incredible. <laughs> It's wow. amazing. Isn't it? It's amazing. He really does really awesome stuff, man. <laughs> that is. So <laughs> what are you laughing at, Dubs? A plug of some Come sort. Come on, man. <laughs> just was, the sad got stuck. Dude. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we should make some nightclub plugs, dude. Maybe uh, Willow can make some. I don't plugs. know. But if we, still have, if we still have sound bites, I'm sure that would be, become a sound bite, man. We gotta bring back some sound bites for this show, man. man I've been waiting, bro. I've been waiting for the sound bites. That's the first one. That could be the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, amazing work, Willow. Yeah. Good stuff, man. We're really. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love. I love his. I love his work. It's amazing. <laughs> you know how to change some stuff up around here, Chris. Nine, <laughs> nine Club. Listen. Plug. Yeah. 
It's, it's, it is what it is. It is. It is. Just, it is. No doubt. Sometimes you just, you know. Does it, does sometimes it, you got the plug. Well, how much does it cost? Sixty nine. Sixty nine dollars. Sixty nine cents. Man. All right. Special. Good stuff, man. Willow, dude, doing it. I love it. I love it. Skateboarders, man. <laughs> They're always doing something cool. You already know. What else Beautiful, is going on, Chris? Man. Well, we could talk about Battle of the Barracks, dude. Do we Ooh, want to dive into just, that yeah, right yeah, now? Do we want right to get in. into our uh, our little brackets down there? Oh, yeah. Got the brackets. Oh, Here we yeah, go. Man, man. Let me and see where I'm at. I haven't even looked at this thing since I since last episode. Well, actually, you know man. what? I'm just going to already know this. I'm losing, so it's all I, good. I was looking for... I didn't have a photo of this, so I can like... I have some scans of it in the Discord. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Um, who did I choose? I don't even remember who I choose. Uh, I, who so I... we're going from Levi Lofenberger. That's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, Felipe Mota. Felipe Mota. So I ch- uh, I picked Levi Lofenberger for the fl- in, Le- in the Felipe one. So I got that one good. You got it. I chose Mota. Is that right? I no, did, this is not I did right. Too. Let me get a. Pe- no, let me stop change it. Dude, change it? Stop. Well, you I, wrote I, the name in. Re- perfect. I, re- I, yeah. That's why I, th- I thought I wrote it down who was going to lose. Oh, <laughs> that's the whole bracket you did that? You might just win the if you did that. The whole bracket you did that. You might just win if you did that. That'd be amazing Ooh. if you did everyone that lost this down the road. Dude, if I had yeah. to, <laughs> Listen, all I know is Dumb Data came out with his, his episode way too late. If I had all that information, I could have made it, uh, really ed- executed some educated guesses. Fine tune that thing. Yeah, but if you knew the skaters, you would just... I do know the skaters, though. I know Felipe Mota. I, I know his stuff. John Chi, <laughs> that's my boy. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, and the other one was Cody versus uh, Desenzo. Yes. And Wait, no, is... no, wait. First of all, let's, 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 okay. let's we'll still... It. Yeah, we're going to talk about Felipe Mota. Okay, all right. Levi Lofenberger. Let me see here. Which, which one are we on? Three? Okay. Here we go. This is it. Boom. Loaf Look at that. Burger. Yeah. Levi, he means business, bro. Yeah, they're both serious right there. It's like that, dude, those poses. All right, stand that way and then look at me. And then that's yeah. the photo. We can do that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? These yeah, are like serious headshots. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're just shooting them like, look angry, look angry. <laughs> They remind me yeah. of like Beverly Hills 90210. They, they look over like. <laughs> yeah, like, like a movie <laughs> thing. <laughs> the intro to each. That should be the intro to every game, dude. I can't believe I chose Mota, man. I mean, the thing with Mota, if you, they were skating like a street league competition, which obviously they're not, but like he would uh, kind of smoke him, I feel like. Like if you yeah, go like yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 he yeah. was like doing a line. Yeah. Well, Felipe is, no, F- Felipe, I mean, Felipe has been in those situations before. He's been in the street league, but this isn't street league, man. This is B A T B flat ground. Yeah, mm-hmm. anything on flat ground counts. No, no complies. No complies. Uh, How is that so ingrained in our brain? We hear we have. I've heard that thing t- because 5, it's in every freaking times. game. Yep. Try to fast forward through that. Yeah, and doesn't ma- matter now. It's already ingrained. I just I, I just knew that Levi was just he's very consistent and I don't know. He doesn't really skate that powerful on flat ground, but he can land the trick. He looks mad comfortable is what he yeah. looks. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got his open shirt. Like, yeah, there. he looks flowing. very like, mm-hmm. I mean, he does crazy, you know, crooked grind, nollie hill crooked grinds and stuff like that. Nollie flip crooked grind. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it is. But still, <laughs> he does. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wasn't surprised to see, and I love Felipe dude. Like I'm a huge fan. I just those certain matchups, you're just like, oh man. Let me ask you a question, yeah. bro. I I trip out on this with BMX bikes, right? BMX, right? They go to fakey, and then they land it, and they hop around really quickly. Yeah. I'm wondering what's the time appropriated to make that a land, right? Because to how, make him do that again. Well, you're you're, going, you're riding fakey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying on a, on a BMX, and yep. you, they turn around really quick. How yeah. long do you? For it to count. Are you talking about BMXing right now? Yes. It is. So, because because look, look at the because way he did heel, this. Boom turns around really quick. That's fine. Because he was going to fall. That's fine. Yes. He's about defense. to jump off. Yes. But I think that counts. You know. It's defense. If it was that offense. If it. If it go back. Was that offense? No, it was defense. Yeah, they it's move. Fine. They, it moved forward. So defense. Defense is fine, dude. It's like whatever. Oh man. I, well, mean, like, I understand. No, I, yeah. I get it. I he get did it. it. He saying. rolled for a second and then he turned around. If that was on offense. Negative. Do it again. Yeah. Redo. Who's rep? Who's reffing right there? Who I, is that? Uh, who is that? Did you guys watch the game? Yeah, I, no, 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 I, I definitely remember, watched I the game. Who the ref I was. just can't remember. It was a newer kid that I don't know who that is. But Tyler Peterson's next to him, 
And t- it was funny because Tyler's kind of like telling him what to do. Nick He's Holt. like, called re- let's redo that it's one. Nick Holt. Oh, it's Nick Holt. Okay. Felipe got he's he, he's proper man. He, he got is. some proper tricks, bro. But it's one of those things, man. You see him do a switch flip and a nollie flip. You're like, oh, there we go. That's that's my attack. Right. When you see the, those skaters that have that like. Right. If you're gonna play me in a game of skate, start throwing some inward heel flips out at me, and except for nollie, uh, whatever. But not not nollie inwards. I got those. Like, yeah. Like, no, but I like yeah yeah there. I got those. But like <laughs> like those those tricks right like yeah, sure. You watch someone and you might think they're the best skater ever, but they have that the kryptonite. Yeah. But uh, they don't got everything. Yeah. And then it looked like Levi he doesn't look too confident with some of those tricks, but he just. He still did. He can but do that, it. But that's a game yeah. of skate, though, right? Yeah. You, you you come out of yourself to do tricks you don't normally do. Yeah. I mean, he's that was sick. Mm. That, was, that was sick. Kind of a little shifty, almost. Mm. When you're in the city. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I wasn't surprised with the outcome. I chose Levi, and say that one more time, Kelly. What you chose, Levi? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, uh, do we want to talk about this, Chris? About like a literal system that I was talking about the other day. The what? Remember, I was talking about all the brackets, how we could do points. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is what I thought. Someone well, we got a comment. Oh, mm-hmm. I forgot to pull the comment, man. Okay. This is what happens when shit's not in our Discord, man. I, Fuck. I put it in the Discord. I know, but I did. I so, <laughs> literally right in front of you. Nobody pulled it. Oh, God, <laughs> You're like put it in Discord, and then you literally I put it up there. It was. I know, but it. I. I <laughs> now it's not there, shit. man. Anyways, who's in charge what, of this stuff, Kelly? I uh, I think you are actually. Uh, let me let me uh, pull it up because I have it on here, and let me see. Sorry if it takes me a second. Hopefully, it doesn't go too far. Hmm, he flipped Chevys again. Oh, here it is. That. Okay, go ahead. This so, was off of our YouTube. This is our YouTube. Mm. Somebody left this comment. It was a good comment. Richard Power seven one zero seven. Shout out uh, seven one zero seven. Val the Barracks picks should be like filling out the NCAA brackets and scored the same. One point for every win that you get correct. The one of the most point wins. Mm. Guess they never gambled. I love that everybody's <laughs> got to throw in their little two cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Morons. We'll have to do that for next time. Yeah. No, we can do it now. Oh, well, I, I mean, mean yes. Well, yeah. Yes, but I, let me pause I, I don't this. like let me where, pause the way I'm really looking. Quick. But let me ask you a wait, question, wait, wait. John. Oh. Yep. It, regardless of that way, would you have Let, scored it any differently because you were just it's almost over you weren't you weren't you were pretty much doing homie shit the entire time totally so <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't have mattered yeah it wouldn't have yeah <laughs> but Let's now just... but look if, if, if we're gonna be betting i'm gonna i'm gonna go about this a little different i'll, I'll be a little more strategic Let, let's yeah. um yeah. let's just finish this really quickly okay, so okay. then we can get back into the point system that we had talked about that we got that comment from because yeah. i think it's a good thing because it could end up you being know. we need points yeah. to win totally so let's let's just let's just keep going with this. Variable. Jesse pulled up the comment. If you want to pull okay. it up, thank you, brother. We'll pull that up in a minute. There. Ooh, mm. see, switch word heel. That was buttery. Mm. I wasn't expecting that one. Mm-mm. Tough. Hey. Oh. Damn. Isn't that such a bummer when you try a trick? It's like and so they, hard. Yeah, you're like, and they uh, do it. yeah. And you're just like, oh, they just did it. Well, oh. see, it came close. It was T to T. I mean, Felipe slid half of that trick he dude, definitely let's be honest. did but i mean it's 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 it counted but it would have been right i mean it would have counted if it was on the last trick i would i'll be like yeah that's that's it well it just gives him more of a more room to slide it as well you know just get you just got to take advantage of it and know to do that if that's the case especially if it's not your like strong trick this nollie back heel was a hilarious dude <laughs> They slow mo right here. That counts. His foot was way off too. No, they slow mo it after. Watch. I mean, you have to. <laughs> wow. Look. That's straight up in. The, it was like on the nose in twirling. The pocket. That's, yeah. Versace, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's some Versace plug shit right yeah. there. <laughs> oh my god. It was just enough, dude. Like his feet didn't hit the ground. That's so good. That is insane. <laughs> that's. When you're smart on a skateboard, you can m- manage that. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh, see, that's the that's the dagger. That's what, that's what got him. That's what got him. That's the dagger. When you, uh, okay, I think Felipe got that though. No, he didn't. No, no, oh, no he could. I'm saying in in, in IRL. I, I think I I think he could. He's never really thought about practicing it. You could tell yeah, by the way he's tried it because sure. the key to that trick is, is, is 
I don't know. I've never even done it regular, but I've done it switch. Is you do a varial flip, but you flip it harder and just let it go. Right. And yeah, that's, just, that's it, part of it. Yeah. Because you try tray flip, double flip. Like you try to tray flip you and flip it. You can't do it like a traditional tray you're, flip. You're going to yeah. do it just like the way he did it. Yeah. Where he flips it a little bit more and land upside down. Yeah. You know? Definitely. It's a weird way of looking at it, but. Okay. All right. Felipe Mota lost. My bracket sucks. <laughs> same. Yeah. I'm in the same boat. Well, uh, the, uh, here's the thing. And this is where the comment came into play. Let's bring that comment back up there, JC, if you can. Battle of the Barracks should be like filling out the NCAA brackets. Scored the same one point for every win. You get correct with one with one of the most point. Uh, the one with the most point wins. Guess they never gambled, idiots. <laughs> you added the idiots. Yeah, you added that. You added the idiots. I feel like we're everybody. Not. I feel like everybody. You know, says some shit like that. Yeah. Just kidding. Though. It was a good comment because it, it made us think. Like you know, we. We may not make it to the finals with some of our guys, but if I have four points, you have three, you have four, we tie, right. or maybe you have five, you win. You know what I mean? Right. Like a point system would make sense for what we're doing right here. Right. I think it's good. I think it's good. Yep. So we well, doing one point per win. Yep. Let me get a pen. Yeah. And also we have one more game to watch as well. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to like mark it down yet. Well, I've well, got no, no but, points. <laughs> but we, but that's the point though. You you get a point. That's the point. Is I get a you point. get a point for Levi. Yes. I don't. Yes, that's correct. I don't get no. Neither points. does Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> no points. I got a point for Levi, and I got a point for Carlos Ribeiro. Let's see. Uh, point system should increase a point per round. Two points for second round. Correct picks. Mm. Mm. Is that how they do it? Though? I don't. I never. I don't ever do that. Uh, the picks in in CAA, like basketball. I don't. I don't know anything about in college basketball. Well, I mean, we all have the same advantages, so one point to two points is fine. Well, let's see. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, I don't mind to do whatever way. Mm -hmm. Carlos won, so I have one point. Oh, so it says yeah, points increase the deeper you you get in. Okay, so that's fine. So we got one. So the first round is one point. Okay, so I got Carlos, and we got uh, the last one. Mota didn't win. Okay, who else? <laughs> so you got uh, one point so far. God damn it! Good to go, Dubs. How many points you got? Um, zero. I, got, you got, I don't you have got any. Chris Cole, you got one. Oh yeah, for this you one. got the you, one. All yeah. right, and then no points there. Well, we should do this after the next game. Or it doesn't really matter, I guess. We'll just do it right now. I mean, we're getting the point system. That's all I know gonna... for now. Okay. Yeah. So you got one point. Yep. All right. So I have Carlos Ribeiro. So that's one. And then uh, Levi, I have one. So right now I have two. Two. And there's one more game to talk Kelly's about. Kelly's in the lead. Yeah. And there's one more game to talk about. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to read Oh, that. he's trying to yeah. already add his third because he must have got the third one, right? What'd you pick on that one? Uh, uh, I got Cody Cepeda. Oh, so I'm on the same page. Yeah, there you go. I'm so you're not too far. Point. Yeah, you're not too I'm far behind. Another point. Yeah. Cody Cepeda versus Ryan Desenzo. Cody Cepeda has won a Battle of the Barracks before. What did he win? Did he win? Did Joe's versus Pros or something like that? Yeah, I think it was that one because he wasn't really sponsored by anyone at that point. He was just thrown in there. Yes. Yeah. But he is. He's super good. Man. He's good, but he has like the. He has the daggers. He has like the nolly double flip, the switch double flip, mm -hmm. those tricks. You're like, oh. He keeps them on the side pocket and yeah. he brings them out when it's ready to go. I was impressed by Ryan DeCenzo's appearance in this game, though. Ryan's good, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, you know what's funny, though? He's just as consistent down huge stairs as he is on flat ground. Right. Which is insane. It all starts on the flat ground, bro. Yeah. That's where it all starts, dude. I just have a hard time thinking of it the same way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, for yeah. sure. For sure. <laughs> like, when you jump downstairs, it's like, it's just flat ground, but you can't flip it the same way almost. Yeah. He, That's uh, true. Good game. Nolly hard flips, dude. Nolly hards are hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to throw that out there. Dude, I still to this day, I wish I still had that trick. It's such a good trick for a game escape. It really is. But who did you guys have for this one? I had... Um, I got Cody. Yeah, I got Cody also. Yeah, I think we all had Cody. And, like, it's hard. 
when Desenzo's so good, but you have a reigning champ against you, it's hard not to choose the like a champ. Totally. So and you also, done, you also know what Cody Cepeda's like capable of. I mean, Desenzo's awesome, but I don't really know if he's got the flat ground game that it, can compare to a Cody Cepeda. Yeah, yeah. Just if they're playing honest. down a gap. Brian would have won. Oh, for yeah. sure. For All days. Day. It's a All whole day. different game. Yeah. That backfoot was incredible. I don't know how he landed that. His back foot. It's, <laughs> it's like a one foot. But he did it. Yeah, uh, that he did. That he did. That he did. But like, so. Like, ryan has got the, he's got the easy, he's got the. The basic, like. The basic shit. It's not, and those tricks are hard, but it's not like you're doing like. Yeah, hey, double under flip. I don't know, whatever it is. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. Like, get him. Uh, uh, what Cody has the switch frontside bigger spin, right? Done. Switch double flip. Done. No double flip. You're like, oh, like, like I don't know. Like he, I, I can't believe people. This is what trips me out, right? It's like the just the. You mess up on the a simpler kind trick. of basic tricks that that people mess up on. I mean, they ha I mean, those, that's what's that the whole basic? Nolly. Half yeah, half I, I think so. Yeah. I well, think compared so. to the other tricks he lands, right? Like you throw, you, you do this Nolly double flip like that. Right. But, but it's also defense. You're a lot more pressure. Totally. Right. Like, yep. I don't know. I've messed up with so many, dude, my game against P rod, dude, the first game I dude, yeah. I got smoked. I've messed up on switch flip. You know, you just nerves. You overthought it, though, too, probably. Yeah, yeah I'm playing P-Rod. I'm fucking fucked. Yeah. I mean, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely was. You didn't give yourself a shot, Kevin. Hey, I beat him once before, but not in a, in a barracks game. Right. Um, it is no yeah. excuse. However, it is a, it's it's interesting. Like, I wish half the people out there knew what the atmosphere was like at the Battle of the Barracks. Like, there's a lot of people there. Yeah. But then as soon as it's, it's like, pin drop, it's it's... It's nerve wracking. I mean, yeah, even for time. even for these guys who don't do a lot of contests, man. I think it's it's a little it's different, you know. It's a it's a different like environment. Yeah. I was talking to Mike Mo yesterday, and he's like, "Yeah, the, the atmosphere in there. It's, you watch it. It's like, but when you're there, it's psycho." And he's like, "Yeah, I brought my girlfriend to one of the games, and we left. She's like, yo, that was insane. <laughs> that like that intensity in there yeah. is wild. I There's only like there could be there could be fifty people in there. There could be four. five. Right. And, and you're still like, oh my God, this is wild. And I don't think it translates. That does not translate on video when people yeah. are watching. Yeah. Um, no, so yeah, not at all. And they're all different. I'm going to tell you how my game went down with Carol. Dude, I ended up playing him three times. Two times we didn't film it, and the last one we filmed. So me and him, like, we beat each other, and then we played the final one. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got me. It was like, dude, I was so, like, heated. But it, that's just the way we did We shouldn't even have played, to be honest. We shouldn't right. have played. Yeah. And that threw me off. I bro. kind of had the same experience when I played Barra. Um, I was skating the barracks the whole day. I was there just flat ground, flat ground on fire. And then, you know, throughout the day. And then finally, at the end of the day, he wanted to play. And then <laughs> it, so he it, came out, kind of warmed up. And yeah. then, you know, he got his little double flips on me and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. But uh, but he, I, I, I was worn down. Yeah. I was worn the hell down, man. Oh, that's Ooh, such a... He did that so good. Too. He did it good, but that's such a... You know you're gonna... That's so dirty, If you dude. do it like that, though, yeah, like, big ups. But, like, that's what's Carol funny. Carol did dude. that shit on me, and I did that shit. How, this is what's funny. You play yeah, a okay. gentleman's game the whole time, and then four or five tricks in a row, you just go complete ham. He had, you to, know? He had to do why it. Do the, why he had to do, why it. do the gentleman's game? <laughs> just go ham. He but wanted I, to make the game interesting. I, it is fun and amazing. That ended. But it makes it more of a, like, the reason why I like it is it makes it more of an entertaining game to watch. Yes. Of course. But if you're trying to win. Trying to just go for oh, the route. Yeah. It's a boy. It's, <laughs> yeah. it, it's Hey Mana. Yeah. That dude rips, bro. Dude, he's... That dude's awesome. Yeah. Dude, the 540 big spin on the ground is pretty... Switch 540. Pretty dope. Switch yeah. Switch 540 big. Yeah. Switch yeah. 540 big. Yeah. Uh, okay. Impressive. I get a point. I got a point. Yeah. I got a point. I think I we got all got points. points on that. I got two points. Let me see. Cody <laughs> Cepeda won. I'm keeping track of that. There, I got yeah. that. I got that. You got that too? I got that. Right. Kelly got minus one. Right? Why is you got to take one of your points away. Every time, I'm, every time I win, I have to take it away. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm negative three right now. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way you could win this. Um, I. I like the point system because like at the end of the day, if we do not, if there is not a winner that we picked, yeah. we still can like, you know, have our little. Oh, we can have a little but fun. But it makes the, that, like, yeah, if we did it the original way, we're just like, oh, 
our guy's out, game's over. Yeah, that, I, that's where I, that's the way I was going. Yeah. I like the point system. Yeah. I think we, I mean, we've talked about it before. I don't know if we talked about it on camera, but I, uh, fantasy, fantasy league. And we skating. talked about it here. Did we talk mm-hmm. about it on yeah. camera? But we, we don't know how you would camera. do it, though. But. Yeah, we have to I figure mean, that out. I mean, every person is worth a s- certain amount of points, yeah. right? And then you have to spend your money oh. on. So like Chris Cole would be worth like a thousand or like yeah. I'd be worth 10,000 and mm. then, you know, Nigel would be worth like 5,000, right? I've and won. You, Kelly's a dollar. Yeah, yeah. So then you'd have to like, yeah. you know, three. huh? Negative three. Negative, negative three. Yeah, negative, 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 yeah, negative like, three. He's right just now. a freebie. Like you get to, <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you have, it's just like fantasy. You have to buy your players. Yep. Right. Yep. Ah, oh, it'd be so good to be, somebody needs to. I mean, that's yeah, I a guess whole it could work. app, I guess though. it could work. And you'd have to break down. You need, like, a dumb data on that who would, what people are worth Yeah. in that season. And you could do video parts, man. Video part came out. You could yeah, you give them, yeah. There's special tricks. It's a whole thing. Man. Yeah, love, BDs, oh, my yeah. God. I'd love to do that. Uh, speaking of dumb data, though, he came through. Let's see here. Let me see. If I'm a fan of this up, dude. Man. I love his video. He, start, he gets some funny stuff in there. He throws some little... <laughs> Well, uh, but he's like very, uh, how do you, okay. We don't have his whole video here, but sorry to interrupt, but he, he's very monotone when he talks and he's just like, says facts. Hmm. This dude spit facts more than anyone in skateboarding. <laughs> oh no, no. He spits hot fire. Yeah. <laughs> no, hot but, fire facts. You know what I'm saying? And I loved looking at when he had like the suit you and, and Cole battle about what Cole messed up on and what. Suchu messed up on right and like Cole messed up on easy stuff the guy went to A but and like you're like damn that's crazy he messed up the easy stuff but he landed the hard stuff and then Suchu didn't land like the hardest stuff right you know there's all Cole's failed attempts versus Suchu big yeah. spin fakie tray hard flip nollie tray switch front heel inward heel inward heel again backside 360 heel yeah, I mean, it. when you look at the difference of how difficult the tricks were in the percent of... I mean, he's only... The percentage of landing it is due to the facts of what he has, of people skating in the contest for the last 13 years. Right. So that's what he's basing it off of. But... Uh, how did he get those numbers? That's psycho. I mean, he's got... He's, he's got, got a, a he's got a, a data spreadsheet from like every battle of the barracks. So I'm sure a lot of them are plugged into each other, where you could like type in something and yeah. then it, it would it would populate. Yeah, but it's a lot, That's of, a lot work. of work. I'm not yeah. saying a, that he just has it down like that. It's crazy. No, that's definitely a lot of work, man. Well, Straight it's one 16. thing. It's one thing to have all that information, but it's one thing to make a video about it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like. To get so defined, like be able to tell a story, and you make a video about it that somebody wants to watch. Yeah, you're like, wait, I never thought I would want to watch something like. That. I mean, if you told me, like, hey, you know, there's a video with an Excel spreadsheet about, you know, I'd be like, Yo, get out of here. Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's like, as soon as he said spreadsheet, spreadsheet, mm. dumb data. He's in the thing right now. What's up, dumb data? We're hey. looking at your stuff, dude. Yeah, dude. Hey, if I, if we called you on the phone, would you talk exactly like the way you do in your videos? Like, would you talk very monotone the whole time and? Just tell us facts. Nolly backside kickflip, 79.53%, 342 attempts. Yeah. Well, and what else? I'm a big That's fan. That's a dumb data. Yeah. No, it's uh, insane, man. And I was I was hyped to see, because he what he did on his, uh, on his bracket that he filled out, he filled out the bracket due to what he saw uh, percentage-wise of people winning right. compared to each other, but also gave his own opinion. Mm. So he didn't just do it factually on the numbers. Right. It was... Uh, oh, he added on a why. He's, got, yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's cool. got a different look on it, though. But you know what he did? He's you got know what a he little did different, say? though. He did say his boy Tyler Peterson was coming on top. So... Looks like you and him are on the same boat. I was like, ugh, that was tight. But that is the thing with a game of skate, though, that I will say is yeah. anybody can get beat on any given day. Exactly. So... Uh, true. Yeah, our boy, your boy Tyler Peterson, yeah, could definitely. having a shit day. Yeah. Maybe he stubbed his little pinky toe out when he got out of bed. It's throbbing, you know. He can't skate that well. Boom, he gets beat by uh, Griffin. Yeah, just or, like that. Griffin or, takes it. Second place, I get d- dumb points for that. I get mad points. <laughs> he could be doing like some some person's got these tricks that no one's ever done before. Like you could get an Andy Anderson who's just doing like roly poly late flips you know what i mean like you're doing pressure late flip i don't know what it is right but i don't know you you never know but 
It's too good. I uh, I appreciate your hard work in putting numbers into skating. And you know, it's like the money, the movie Moneyball. Have you guys seen that? Haven't seen it with Jonah Hill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome movie. And yeah, like uh, what's his name? Brad Pitt's in it and everything. Yeah, Brad but Pitt. they break down baseball. In numbers, yes. statistically numbers, yes. yep. and they built a team based off of that, mm-hmm. and they did good. Like you know what I mean? They're like, oh, no, get rid of this dude; he's not performing the numbers. This guy, yep. they're like, what are you talking about? But like, you, this it's not like you're performing a team here, but you're getting results right done to this based and on I, based on the numbers. Yeah, and I thought that was pretty cool. I'm, I like numbers and things. So how come our audio never works, Raj? Is computer on mute? I don't know. You can hear it. I can hear it. Oh. I can hear it. It's so low, though. Because the young and hungry newcomers who scrapped their way through the hard to follow Fight Night series are exactly that, furiously flicking their way in the hopes of getting on the community's radar. But to be honest, at first I assumed Levi was going to easily handle a win with Felipe in the first round. But after. Where, where is this extra noise coming from? It's coming from our the stupid where, kick where shit. <laughs> <laughs> Chris sorry, is, sorry, kick. Guys. Chris is pissed. No, it's like every like Twitch stays muted, but kick every uh, time you every time you load it up, it's it's not muted. It's, uh, it drives me crazy, bro. Yeah. Sorry, kick. Yeah. That was great. I love the analysis. Um. Just get him on the show sometime, like for. Dumb data, jo- join our Discord, and we'll 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 get on a phone call with you, man. <laughs> uh, he, dude, he skates and everything. I've seen know, posting clips. <laughs> no, he he doesn't skate, does he? <laughs> could you hey, imagine? You know. He's just a he's a base, basketball player. These things happen. Loves, hey, loves they do happen. He could just be a what's it called? Just numbers guy. Like loves the data. Yeah, he loves the data. Yeah, good stuff, man. Dumb data. Keep doing what you're doing, man. We right love to up. love to hear it, dude. Love to hear Kula it. Kula knows he skates. Yeah. So that well, was good. That was yeah. good. So we got. I'm up three to you. Got you guys. Got uh, two? We got two each. Two each. Right. Well, I'm two not each. out. We're not out just yet. We're Chris. not out. Dude. Yeah. No. We're gonna. I think we're gonna do good. I think Eric Costa might take the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know, dude. No, he's not, uh, I don't know mm-hmm. if that's gonna okay. work out yeah, now. Okay. 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 <sighs> what else is going on? What you got? I don't know, but this whole battle of bear shit makes me fucking. There's just too much going on. You think so? Yeah, a lot of kick flips, a lot of three six flips, like, a lot I, of half cab heels. I'm in. I'm enjoying watching these every weekend. I am as well. It's. I mean, it's only a couple minutes. Like you have to sit there and watch like a three hour thing. Sure. Yeah. You know, it's like cool. Sure. Watch a f- usually five to ten minute video. Right. It falls right in between. The, those are perfect and somewhat entertaining. Yep. Some of them, you know. Guys get smoked, but you know how that goes. Yeah, uh, I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. No, guy, no, I, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I've got. I remember when I played Corey Kennedy. I, dude, I got thirteen tricks or something like that in a row. I went first, and I was like on it, and he just landed every single trick. <laughs> and I was like, dude, what? And I did a roly poly flip. I and then I got him a letter, and I did a roly poly backside one eighty flip, whatever. And I messed up, like, well, that's it. Got me five shit letters done. <laughs> oh, my God. He just smoked me like that. That was it. Yeah. But Do you remember the tricks? That he got me on? Yeah. At that point, I, I think I, I, I landed on switch tray, fell over. Because you did 13 tricks? Oh, did I did? Yeah. Oh, I did, like, kick flip, fakey flip, tray flip, hard flip, fakey double flip, double flip. Oh, he nolly, got, yeah. He's, nolly big he's flip. He's got all those doubles. Nolly varial sure. flip. Uh, all the, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I can't, some other. That's just. Child's play for old Corey Kennedy. Yeah. Corey Kennedy. But I was no joke, towards man. the end. I was like, okay, Nolly big flip, boom. But that it, it's just he he, he just plays around with his board. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's a technician, magician. Yeah, he was just laughing at you the whole way. Sleep. Like, yeah, he's guy, probably sleeping. He probably thinks he's he's on fire right now. He man. did Nolly Caballero flip, and it, like that was a that was a dagger. I oh, never even. I think I've landed a trick once, like ten years later. But dude, he take you out with a dagger. Yeah. It's incredible. Martin Rogers with the 10 gifted memberships over hey. on YouTube. Appreciate you. Big Thank ups. you for that. Also, Bacon for You with the $6.90. He's betting for Jocelyn to take it. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Chris, when people like um, give channel members like, uh, like subs, whatever, what, what, like, what are they getting? Are they just getting the, uh, the icons? 
No, they get a, a they get a full full access, man. For it's, the month, a, it's a four right? ninety nine uh, thing. Yeah. So whatever the f- uh, tier two is or uh, silver, I no, no no silver, I believe. No, it's a gold. Mm, really? Yeah. So they get like yeah. channel members. They get watch the videos behind got, the scenes. They got behind the scenes stuff. They got all the videos. The you know they get they got nine clubs early. Mm, yeah, so you can you can get? watch a show uh, what at four o'clock the, on Sunday? No, it's like early morning oh, Sunday. So you can a full day, full day. Yeah, yeah. Full if day you're a membership, you can watch our Monday show the day before. Right. Yeah, Sunday. Hey, I usually post like ten a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, here we go. Premium. So four ninety nine gets you access early access to new nine club episodes which we just talked about Mm -hmm. exclusive members only live streams we haven't done that in a while we should get back on yeah for sure let's do it friday uh exclusive members only videos which is behind the scenes stuff and just exclusive other other stuff a guest comes in roger does films a little behind the scenes stuff it's pretty it's really awesome man uh 20 off nine club merch so you go to our store you get a little discount code on there and uh yeah so that's good 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 very yeah, good. Good. Hey, Alex Trucks, member for 37 months. Alex Trucks, shout out. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Wait, so he says, we're, you already know we're here every Wednesday, Mad Love for the Nine Club. Isn't that every Thursday now? Mm-hmm. Every Thursday. Yeah. No, Wednesday. Thursdays. So he watches them on Wednesday. A week later? He watches. Almost. He watches the, like a week later on Wednesday. Okay. All right. So he's still here on Thursday, though. <laughs> Bush Wickerman with the 100 bits on Twitch. Thank you. Said Yo Crab. Who won Mono Mono? I don't even remember. Uh, Chili P with the 489 bits. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Street Rat also with the 100 bits. He said A M A. Also, Chronic subscribed at tier one. Good stuff, man. Thank you guys for the support. Really, really, really appreciate that. Bone of Ice, thank you. 44 months. Nine Club Gold member. Let's go. The Nine Club for Life. Love gold you. Member. All you guys. There you gold go. member, yeah. Mm-hmm. Much love. All right, we got to talk about Leticia Buffoni and Monarch is out of business. She posted on her Instagram. It's been a fun ride working with everyone on Monarch Project. As this chapter ends for me, I'm grateful for the team we built and all the uh, experiences we had. Thankful for all the support from the skaters and fans. I cannot wait to reveal what's next. Stay tuned. Monarch was around for what? A a hot year? Maybe. Maybe like 10 months? I don't know if they cracked the year. 10 months. I don't know. You know what? It was the worst timing because they were out of Dwindle and Dwindle just, just fumbled. Yeah. They lost everything, dude. They... All the companies, are, well, they're not gone, but everyone there kind of just dispersed. For sure. Right? And I, it sucks. They had a great idea, a great team. Uh, you got Sky Brown and Leticia on there just, like, to start it. Yeah. Diego, Naranja. Yeah, Diego. Yeah, Diego, the, where, what's going on? Yeah, Kieran Woolley was on there. Even like Yvonne, Yvonne Martinez. Like They had a dope squad. They put a little For video, sure. but it was just the timing. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's like, it wasn't the timing on their part. It was the timing on this whole Dwindle yep. situation and them selling Dwindle and then all these companies, the the higher ups at Dwindle just kind of, yeah, uh, the, probably not knowing what the hell to do with skateboarding. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it, it it sucks to see. Obviously, people have moved on. You got um, you got Louis Barletta. Yep. You got a lot of people, the higher ups over there. Um, not the higher ups, higher ups, but you know, you got um, yeah, yeah, Bob Boyle. Bob Boyle, thank yeah. you. You got Bob Boyle in them. Steve Douglas. Steve and Douglas like, starting the core um, of skateboarding. Yes, yeah, starting yeah. up a um, in the building sidewalk. Sidewalk distribution. They got jacuzzi skateboards over there. So opera skateboards opera as well. Uh, slappy trucks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we'll see what happens. You know, Letitia says something is in the works. I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what she says, but. It's officially done. And that's the thing, too. We don't know also if, you know, I'm sure that Dwindle owns the name Monarch. Right. Yeah. I mean, you probably, probably goes with it. So she can't take it and move it somewhere else. Yeah. They, they own the name. So you have to start over if she's going to go that direction. Right. I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm stoked to see what she does. I mean... She's jumping out of airplanes. Feeble grind out of airplanes. She's, she's on some other shit. She's yeah. doing it, bro. She's on yeah. some yeah. other shit. Yeah. She's driving little cars around the dirt and everything. Driving her sea dudes and shit. 
She's riding her sea dues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll see what she does. Uh, she said she's already got something that works. Right, so right, there we right, go. Right, 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 right. Wonder who she'll bring with her or if she'll do her own thing. Who knows? Or she might just go into someone else's team. Hey. Maybe, you know? Yeah. I would do. I mean, I don't know. It's Running. easier. It's easy. You it don't is. have to worry about really. I mean, was Monarch part, was that her company? Her and, and Sky Brown, I and believe. Sky Brown. Yeah. Okay. I know Casper was helping out with that, too, I yeah. think. Yeah. But there you go. I always trip on this, and I understood it later on. It's like. If you're a skater, like actively out there killing it, do you really want to take on being like a business owner of a skate brand? Like, you know what I mean? Like, not when, if you have to put in all that work yeah. like that. Like, if you want to just go out and be the skateboarder and then have like somebody run that for you. Yeah, yeah. Like you have. Okay, let's. It's tough. Paul Come Rodriguez on. started his own brand. Yep. It's huge, but he's huge support system. He's got totally. Heath there. He's got a whole squad. Totally. I mean, he's he not in there every day being like. He didn't like, have to do much. Yeah. He just he is he is Paul Rodriguez, yeah. and that's what drove a lot of people to skate for Primitive mm-hmm. also, and to work for them. I don't know if you he could say he didn't do much. Yeah. I know, what you, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. He, he, he's not in the day to day going and no. trying to get like get people on the phone to order their boards and to, he's totally. not in the trenches no, trying like to get that. everything. For sure, he set created up. and helped build to that point where he doesn't have to do that. For, for sure. sure. And then you got Shane O'Neill, who's got April, and he's not. He, I mean, he's doing a lot with that, but he's got Chris Middlebrook helping him a, huge in the back end totally. too. Let's be so, real though. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. A lot of pro skaters that start their own companies are in those trenches. They are calling the skate shops. They are. You know what I mean? Like well, doing the, doing the doing the website themselves. They're 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 doing it. Well, speaking of like like think of someone like Tori Pudwell. Tori's yeah. in there Straight doing up. everything almost besides like actually selling the boards. His he has his brother helping on that <laughs> that portion of it. But dude, he's actually making the boards. Like he's doing a lot. So yes, yeah. it depends on how how much time that you want to put forth in to make this like a reality. You know what I mean? Like some of these guys are in it, and some of them are having somebody else do that do it with them yeah. for sure you for know? sure i mean primitive is a lot bigger than most brands as well yeah. yes so, definitely so they need definitely. a big crew of people yeah but yeah it's interesting um like so leticia it's know, like hey I, do you want to do your own thing or would you would you like to just join so i'm yeah, sure a lot of our teams on the squad would, would love to have you on the team if i was her i would just jump on a squad but also, i don't know if i'd want to like take on another responsibility of you know just do it yeah. I, it's it's different though because primitive started on, in its own like nobody owned them except them right except paul and heath and them leticia went the other direction with a distribution who probably owned a percentage she owned a little percentage of mm-hmm. it too so they provide her an opportunity sure yeah, yeah. sure and i don't some, know i mean maybe she maybe people are like oh you just jump on another team that's actually not as easy as you think even though she's leticia she might be like i don't want to skate for that team totally or they might be like, I don't know if we want that. Yeah, right. plan, she was on Plan B and left Plan B. You know, know what I mean? Like, so yeah. they're just, I don't know. Like, I, I, it's definitely easier to go into a team than building a whole thing. Yeah, building a whole company around yeah. you. You know that that's that's yeah. it. it's not. I mean, it's depending again, thing. going back to like if that fits, you know, who you are, and yeah. if the the team wants you to be on, like yeah. it, it can't just be your decision. Like, oh, I want to go skate for this. No, yeah, that, it doesn't work like that. Nope. You know. Yeah. So, um, but I'm be, gonna ride for girl though. I'm just tell them that I'm gonna ride for girl. perfect. Okay. Girl. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, Kelly, we'll we'll see how that, that goes. Kelly, I don't think you're in the position to make those decisions. No, no, no. I, I'm going to write for girl, dude. It's all, I'm going to call Rick. I'm going to call Rick to see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm going to tell Rick. I'll give you his phone number. Happening. I'll give you his phone number right now. And I'll see call him the phone. Hey, Rick. Hey, we're on the night club. Just so you know, I think I'm going to write for girl. Yeah. All you would hear, right, thanks later. All you would hear is <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yeah. And when they hang up, boop, 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 boop. Uh, Dude, anyway, great. shout out Leticia. I'm big shout a out. big fan over here. Yep. So whatever she does is gonna be great. You know, she's uh she's been in the game for a long time. You know, yes. she's killing it. She is a force to be reckoned with. No doubt. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. We have to get into another skateboarder, Reese Noblack. Noblock. Oh my god, this dude. Mm. This dude Tight, came dude. in hot. Yeah, dude. man. I'm telling you, man. Make sure you know who this dude is. We put together a little montage, of course, with all of his. That's how that trick is done. Fun That's tricks. how you do it right there, bro. Spot, dude. <laughs> Look at these. I love a good kick him, shove it. I'll say he it, did Raj. That. He did that. Kick him, really shove good, it, bro. That was a kick him, shove it. That was. Cavalario flips. Good. It's good. It's, dude, it's a lot of the new spots, and it's a new, new face to skateboarding, man. 
Uh, a tr- like quick we see a like lot that. of the new we see a lot of the new uh new faces in skateboarding we don't but sometimes we don't know the names we yeah the new people but you know there's a lot of kids coming up these days man yeah but to get recognized just through like actually just skating is like hard there's a lot of instagram skating there's like personality stuff this is completely insane <sighs> <laughs> like amazing spot but psychotic to actually attempt yeah the heel flip was proper. This was filmed and edited by Torsten Frank, by the way. I love that. That's such a good trip, man. That I don't. Was beast. It's funny. I don't know much about Torsten Frank. I've seen like I I I know he's a filmer and he makes videos mostly for Adidas. Mm. I've seen that for years. But can, good stuff for him, man. Always making rad edits. Ooh. Super dope. I mean that it's like a, it's one of those things. Yeah, it looks awesome, but no one could really do it except for Reese comes in and does it. <laughs> right. You need a dude on a little moped that helped. Yeah, for, definitely. He's got the ste- front heels. He always. did that so buttery. Yeah, I mean, you have a good back three, man. You see a lot of back threes. I don't know, man. It seems like these kids nowadays just throw out a back three like chilling. Look at that. He bit. Bro, look at the like the back portion of that last stairs, how he just glided over the last stairs. I just don't understand how you oh go that God. fast and do this trick. I mean, he clipped it a little bit, yeah. but it don't even matter. No, no. he was already ready but to But Dubs away. is right, though. Look, he really... He he was inches above the yeah. last set of stairs. It's crazy. Yeah. But so comfortable and ready to like land it. It's, it's crazy when you do a trick like... You can't really... It's hard to pop that trick off things. Mm-hmm. You know, like to get... So there's there's certain there's ways, ways that people do it. Like I don't understand the ollie and then turn. Oh, I yeah. I'm the scooper with back threes. Yeah, but and he did it. too. He scooped it as well. It's oh, interesting. I love that trick. Love that I was trick. never good at back threes. Never good at front threes either. Daniel Castillo tried to teach me a front three. Yeah, I got a little. I could do a little bit, but could you ever do switch front side through sixties? No, I got. I was. No, no. I know you can do that trick. Mm-hmm. I got like. I never thought I'd be a 360 guy, but once you, it's like you scoop, and then when you get a shoulder gets to that one moment, it goes you just around. Whip it around. Yeah, it goes around. And I could not do that regular footed. Really? I didn't understand that same motion when you do it regular. I don't know why. I, I used mean, to really do the frontside 360s like quite a bit, like back in the day, but then I just yeah. stopped doing them. I mean, backside is just. And switch I, backside 360s I was doing. Oh, and yeah. I fucking stopped doing that. Who's he ride, who's he ride for? To be honest, I'm, I'm, omin- I'm honestly not sure. I know he gets Adidas shoes. It was funny because his boards, it reminded me of some old Expedition graphic that I used to skate back in the his day. His Instagram says uh, Adidas, Wayward, Wayward Wheels, Independent Trucks, Bronson, Mob Grip, Homeboy Official, and Arrow and Beast. Josh Head said, get this kid on Palace. I know, right? He is rocking some palace gear in the park. Right. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Wayward wheels. I don't like I wonder if they're still doing that. Damn. Damn. It's someone crazy. said someone, someone said illegal sieve. <laughs> wow. That's crazy how fast like a board brand could just be guns though. I mean that is he's still really around. sad, bro. He's still around though. Yeah. But I'm a fan of this kid, man. Yeah. I, 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 he's got a palace beanie on fan. right there. I was stoked to see where he went, and I mean, uh, I'm stoked to so see where he goes. Yeah, just based off of this part. Keep doing those kill shoves, dog. It's good, man. I, I like to see. Um, I like to see what? Uh, just you know, uh, new faces coming out with 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 really really good parts. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, I think sometimes it's kind of few and far between. I think no, a lot of sure. people just kind of throw the, throw together what they got. And put it in a part, and a lot of the times, like I don't think it hits a mark. But right. I think it just—I think sometimes it just. Did you just say timing was everything? I mean, we know, t- timing yeah. is everything too. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could put out something really dope, and it could get overlooked. Unfortunately, but he it, he didn't put this part out. Torsten put it together there you and go. put it out. There you so go. Th- when you have someone looking out for you like yes. that, it's crucial. He could have put that out and put freaking—I don't even know, like whatever. He could have edited himself and made it look. He might have thought it looked good. You know, there's but, usually always a filmer behind these videos. Yeah, though. they're yeah. not. A lot of the times, they're not putting it out by themselves. They're oh, not yeah. just editing it and whatever. Sure. There's always a filmer. Yeah, kind of involved. But, but I don't know. Sometimes it misses the mark. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's when you have someone good and behind the lens and editing wise, that's huge, big time. Totally. So, if you're a skateboarder, 
try to find the best one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's. I mean, when you a lot got of it's jolly, just, a lot of it's just the homies. When you got the homies though, and you got jolly, like the, like that whole squad, straight up. Like you got that dude behind you. You you're going every day. You know you're getting clipped. Yep. And you you know it's gonna look good, and you know it's gonna go somewhere good. Yeah. You're not gonna be like, oh man, that was. I've I mean, never even, seen even if Jolly does. saves it for like yeah. what he's working on. It's like, bro, your shit is gonna go somewhere good. You're like, don't worry. You yeah, know what I mean, but yeah. So there's not. T- there's a couple of good filmers, dude. Kevin Perez, man, Jesus, he's the best. Shout out to Kevin Perez. Shout out Kevin. He like bro. sent me. He just like he like, here's some Johnny clips I got, and there's film so good. It's like that's what skateboarding means. Oh, <laughs> Straight up. So good stuff. Yep. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for that kid, man. Yeah. He's going to be doing fun, good things, man. I agree. I'm, I'm a fan already. I'm, I'm a fan. To I'm a fan. All right. So I have seen that a lot of people think this is just clickbait. People, uh, we clickbaited everybody. But Rodney Mullen, man, I, how can you not put him in the, he's not on the show. I, this, yeah. isn't, this isn't an interview show. This is three dudes yeah, that skateboard talking, that talking about skating, yeah, right? Yeah. Now, I will tell you something. That we, we are trying our best to get Rodney on the <clears> show. <throat> We do have a 300th episode coming out, so Rodney, if you are out there watching this, which I know you, you, you hit me up all the time saying you love the Nine Club Live, you know. Um, oh, we you would love. Saying that? Oh yeah, all the time. So he, you must be watching through that. Aim. His is yeah. the the Skater Boy. Oh, the Skater Boy. Yeah, with the eight. Yeah. 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 yeah cool. <laughs> Similar to what my but name we would was. love. I mean, that would be episode three hundred. I'm just putting Straight it out up. there right now. Who knows yeah. who it'll we be? We can manifest it. We can do that. But we'd yeah. love to get Rodney on the show. I would love to sit down and pick that dude's brain. He's been through. Ugh. He he was involved with everything that we were involved with, mm-hmm. also, and uh, just gr- growing up in general, yeah. all the companies and everything, and creating when, tricks. And when, let me ask you a question: When you guys were skating with him back then, was he that in depth? of talking like the way he is now yes so he was always like like yeah so i mean it, it would be a time and place like and, and if you wanted to talk like on like when we're in the car on like a, a tour or something and yeah. we just start conversating like bro yeah he, he yeah would, he would that's talk. amazing yeah. i don't i've never had i've never had words with him i would love to please ron even go on the show because i feel like i could just lose myself talking for hours with him on skateboarding but uh i always just wondered that because i know a lot he helped a lot of people throughout the their career big time so i'm always like dude how he's a legend yeah oh, he is full blown. not he's only a legend, man. not only skating the on way and he off is, the board. yeah i just don't understand how someone could be it's like that brilliant on yeah. and off yeah where he could describe it to anybody and it makes sense well all the right. brilliant i mean like yeah. i mean look at andy anderson for instance yeah. like very analytical very i mean i mean a lot of these analytical dudes that really think about skateboarding and each, each little thing, like a washer on their wheel, how yeah. it affects their board. is like, they're usually the ones that, you know, like the, uh, he, like Andy's almost a, he's like a newer, he's like Rodney. the new, as the right. new Rodney. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I love dude talking with Andy is the best. He's so funny to talk to dude. Cause he'll, they'll talk to him and he'll be like, wait, what did you just say? Kelly? Can yeah. you repeat that again? And I'll be like, yeah. And he like, he'll jot it down in his book. Right. And like, I don't know. Just, he's very he'll think about things for a Deep while way. yeah for sure i love yeah. what dollar bill said he said how the fuck did tony get on get costin before you guys think about it think about it it's tony hawk it's tony no hawk. when I, I i came to the realization because tony's gotten some guests that we've been trying to get for a atiba while as well atiba as well and it, i just came to the realization if tony hawk calls you you, a, you answer yeah you go yeah. you're answering the phone if tony hawk calls all day yeah so but and, anyway and to be honest we don't hold this against them Eric, oh, I do. Atiba, I do. Come on, bro. You, 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 when, whenever you guys are ready, you know what I'm saying. We here. That grudge is real for me, Dubs. That grudge, yeah. it's a big grudge. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So Rodney came out with. Oh, shout out to Chase Gabor first of all because he did the Define Skateboarding. He sat down with Rodney Mullen, and I'm not even going to begin to try to convey what Roddy Mullen you can't. was yeah. saying here. Especially verbatim, like there's no way. I mean, even to try to just... He speaks so eloquently and so passionately and so analytically that like, I, I literally watched this like four times. Yeah. yeah. yeah I watched it three times. Yep. I probably will watch it a fourth time. But just, it's it's one of those things where it's like, you you, you read a book and you, you're, you're, 
You read the, a chapter and you're like, what the fuck did I just read? Well, I just I read every I read every letter. Yeah. But let me go back and I got to do this again. Yeah. Because I, I don't even understand what he's talking about. Totally. No, or, he, I'm not. It's not that I understand. I just I can't. It's not being absorbed. You needed to digest it again. For 100%. it to really resonate, and it still didn't resonate as much My as you goodness, thought. My goodness, no, well, it's, dude. It's, it all makes sense, but it's so all over the place, but it's very cohesive. So it's like he, he describes skateboarding so well in all these different areas, and he goes from here to there to there, but you're like, it all makes sense, but it, you're like, wait, you're talking about so much in different ways, but you're all relating it to the same thing. And it all makes sense. And it all makes sense, but it's hard to take it all in. Totally. I, I hit up Chase, and I was like, dude, what was that like? You know what, what was that coming? He's like, dude, it's the the raw footage is pretty funny. He's like, he's he said this is what he said. He's obviously a genius. So there were times where he had to be like, now Chase, if I answer this, the threads and rabbit holes I go down might take a while. Sure. <laughs> so are you sure you want me to go there? And Chase is like, yeah. And, he, and then he <laughs> and then he prepares you for yeah. your for his answer. Yeah. Like, yeah. dude, he is just so deep with this, bro. Because you know, I mean, he's been around for a long time. You know, he's thought about all this stuff. He's thought about what makes a skateboarder and and everything. I mean, but the stories that he does tell is pretty rad. There was one at the at the end that really struck me when he's talking about Mike Ternaski and how Socrates Leo really contributed with the footage and yeah. even just Rodney being a freak that he is, like you know, almost getting on a getting on a plane and be like Sokka, you listen. If my plane goes down, I want you to edit my part like this, and you know, and like Socks <laughs> laughing at him, be like, it don't matter man you'll be you'll be gone yeah. you know and rodney's laughing but all that stuff man is like it's so interesting to hear yeah i mean he how he just relates defines everything yeah dude the way he puts art like how he defines skateboarding is art it's completely art dude and big time it was so funny how he's like I mean, you could tell someone how they, the style, they put switch or whatever, and like that is more art than like paintings. Mm -hmm. it, there's a bigger vast uh, of a, a canvas for skateboarding than there is anything in the in the world almost. Right. Uh, I just thought that was really cool, and just how skateboarders, you could be from any part of this world. Yeah, the language. The lang like you just, you can connect with anyone, even for if sure. you don't speak the same language. Yeah. Totally. Like, you know what I mean? You speak the same language, but you don't sometimes. Well, yeah. I love yeah. what he said, too, about, like, we like we, we have created our own language. Yes. Like, the, our community. Nobody else yeah. has come in and, and said, you, this needs to be called this. Yeah. But I'd love just... Just levels, bro. Can you turn it up, dude? How, why is this always so low? Are we going to hear kick? He's no. the perfect no. spokes, spokesperson to actually We're explain skateboarding. Able. And you might not understand it the way he explains it, but it's so beautiful. It's almost like uh, what's Huberman, yeah. But yeah, for skateboarding, going the other way, yeah, <laughs> straight up, yeah. Just being together, man. Those were pretty special times. And Tony is mm -hmm. part of that in a way that I can't quite put to words. And that, him, him talking about Tony Hawk yeah. and. He was talking his, about how his, he uh, looked up to he didn't look up to freestylers like that were better than him or whatever. He 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 looked up to like Tony. It was a whole different realm of skating, but he like looked up to him for like progression. Hmm. And I, to be at the forefront back then, yeah. To be inventing tricks, your mind has to be in some different realm. And mind you, there's yeah. only a selected few that were really like moving the needle like in skateboarding at that at that time, and yeah. obviously Tony Hawk was a part of that movement. Yeah, I mean Rodney Mullen and dude, imagine hanging out with both of those. Dudes. But they're so different personality oh wise. Gosh, I love it so. Want to get Rodney and uh, Andrew Huberman together? Oh yeah. my god! Want to really blow some people's minds? You him? It, it just like I'll be a fly in the wall in that conversation. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to say anything. Yeah, yeah. You just let them talk. And that his tricks have not only changed skateboarding for what you do in terms of vert, but that inspiration gave me something to focus upon. Again, parallax and dimension. I didn't look up to other freestylers. With respect, of course, but I didn't look up to them. <laughs> that was dope. I needed someone who walked a similar path, but in a different way, so I could refocus, and it was Tony. So that ripples into everything that I did, which starts to change the perspective of what did Tony do for skateboarding? It influenced freestyle. It influenced street skating. 
it influenced the public faces. Dude, his depth is so insane. It dude. is crazy. He could say it something so budget, crazy. and it's gonna be, <laughs> and it's gonna be it's the most eloquent thing you've ever heard. Trespassing tickets, you have to. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. He hardly says anything budget. Though. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is like it. You can think it is, but it doesn't matter what you think because it's buttery. Yeah. I love what he was talking about contests too. He spent ten years of his life doing contests and just kind of how meaningless they are to him. And, and it's pretty. It's really interesting. Somewhere between. Like his video parts are. I think that's the staple for him. Like he he's made what two, three video parts that are just remarkable. And if you go back and peep these, and if if none of you people have seen this watching, or listening. Go check out Rodney Mullen, and 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 he'll shed some light on skateboarding. Like way before things were even being done, he was doing it. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. a trip. It's a, unbelievable. And one thing I I never really thought. I mean, I always knew this, I guess, but never thought about it. Uh, just when it comes down to NBDs, about what sport is there out there that you're just continuously opening this like progression. Right, I mean, there, you, there is other sports, no, no, but no. I get what you're saying. I well, there is, I guess, I but yeah, it. maybe more points, more faster time, but no, not no, like, no, like like the terrain, but bicycle yeah. riding, b biking. There's there's other where they're pushing the, the the levels of this thing. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's if it's in com comparison to skateboarding. No, like 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 the continuous yeah, progression the continu of yes, skateboarding. Yes, for sure. Well, there is progression anywhere. And else. I'm not trying to look. I hold the flag for skateboarding. Like, <laughs> I, don't don't get me wrong. I'm yeah. not trying to say, but I'm just trying to like you know Can't think out. You yeah. already know about that. But what I'm trying to say is like there is other sports that are pushing the envelope, but no, nothing compared to skateboarding. Not not at Straight all. Up. Like and that's that's what's incredible. Like every day we're seeing I'm like oh my god, I never thought it's about that trick. Crazy. Yeah. So he's and he I, one of my favorite things. I, I was thinking of his TED talk. That he what, what's so humbling for skateboarders, unless you're like some ridiculously like you're Tony Hawk maybe, or possibly a Bam that famous, mm -hmm. that you could go to a demo and be everyone's like, oh let me get an autograph blah 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 like stoked and you're hyped you're giving autographs or whatever. You go across the street to Seven Eleven and be like, dude, are you gonna fucking pay for that or what? Like <laughs> like like no one cares who you are in the Seven right, Eleven. Right. You could lit and it's it's a humbling thing and he explains everything so well yes. as a skateboarder. So definitely. This man has got given TED talks and everything. I don't know. I'm just a big Rodney Mullen fan. I, I love the um, just what he's all about, man. I love his. I love how he just analyzes everything, you mm -hmm. know. And it, it's really interesting to talk to people like that. That's why I would love to have him on the show. Go oh ahead, Roger. Gosh. I hear your fan on right there. I was gonna say you should send him another tape. <laughs> another sponsor me tape. Yeah, oh, I might send, do it. Right finally, there. send him the sponsor me. Yeah. I'll uh, send him the switch with Manny. No, no, dude, <laughs> uh, the, mid October. Late November. No, late November, sorry. Uh, Mid-October is a good start, though. No. <laughs> Get the ball rolling. Mid-October, late November is a good period right there. <laughs> That's when people start going cranking for the skate or skater of the year. So. This is true. Just saying. This is true. Anyway, we wanted to highlight Rodney Mullen. And Love you, what bro. he, the video that Chase Gabor did on the website. Links in the video description below. Go check it out. Um, again, we can't even scratch the surface on trying to <laughs> explain explain <laughs> what he was explaining in the video so just go watch it we're just huge fans only he can do and, that bro yeah, yeah dude it's like <sighs> dude you're explaining it really good right now well no it's just, <laughs> it's just, just like oh dude well it just blew my it's just like <laughs> it just blew my mind yeah. i feel you, know you bro I mean? you know that's why you watch it three or four times because you did. really wanted to take it all in i think yeah that's Probably I should do that too. I can imagine Chris's face the whole time. He's like, <laughs> no, it, was, it wasn't like that. But it was more. It was just more of like there was so much information that yeah. was being yeah. divulged. Yep. Like how like I need to take this in again. I need to. I caught one thing. Ooh, I boom. I need to catch this one over here now. You know. But in in his Rodney Mullen way as well, which yeah. you know is very like a very drawn out story where you're just like captivated by how he's explaining it yeah and no one's a very good speaker. i haven't met anyone in skateboarding that like speaks like the way he does no very soft and like in depth there's no one like rodney Mullen, yeah. dude, real yeah. talk you gotta treat rodney like a chat gpt you just be like all right in a hundred words <laughs> yeah give it give it to me in two Define sentences skateboarding two sentences right you could do that probably i made this bologna sandwich <laughs> no mayonnaise no mustard <laughs> 
Try. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Try. Is that it? Just, just bologna? And I put the two buns together. Buns? And I ate it. <laughs> Sesame seed bun. <laughs> pretty good, dude. It's pretty good. So it's just a sesame bun uh, bologna sandwich that was dry. <laughs> That's what Roddy Bologna eats? <laughs> 100%. <laughs> we love you, Rodney, bro. We are waiting for you to come on and break down skateboarding. Oh, oh, and good. bologna sandwiches. Yeah. And bologna sandwiches. Dry bologna sandwiches. Well, we have, when he comes on here, we're going to have mad bologna sandwiches everywhere, dude. Listen, man, we'll switch it up. We'll give him turkey. <laughs> turkey dry? slices. Dry? dry. I love turkey, dude. I love turkey, too. I got to stop eating this shit. No condiments. <laughs> Dry, <laughs> dry sandwich. It's funny because everybody has a Rodney Mullen imper- impression. Impression, right? Yeah. I don't know who it. does the best one. I mean, this is, listen, me and Rodney, you know, we go, you know, we kick it in the house. We do oh, our freestyle moves. Bag right there, you know? bro. Yeah, you guys we just kick bag. it. He's more relaxed. You know, I'm more of the showboater. You know, a <laughs> yeah. showman. He's, he's smiling, but you're like, you're... he's kicking. It's comfortable. I'm a, I'm a showman. You know what I mean? I'm showing off my moves. Hands, dan- hands yeah. down, he's just like, yeah. Showing off my my moves and my calves. That's a good uh, cover page right there. That was after the bologna sandwiches. You should put that mm. in the cover page for this episode, and then put a bunch of, a bunch of arrows pouring everywhere, like everyone's doing on it. On Dry. The- <laughs> no relish. <laughs> no relish. No mayonnaise. <laughs> Try. No shout out to Roddy Mullen, man. Big shout out. Shout out to Roddy Mullen. Go watch it. It's a. Uh, it's fascinating, man. I love it. I want to get him. We need to get him on the show. Yeah, gotta get him. Can we get him on the show, man? please? Come on, guys. I'm DM him. Rodney. 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 I got his personal Rodney. numbers though. He got to DM him. You know what? For... DM him. God, God, what happened him. to you? I thought you were. Good luck getting through to him on that. I don't know if he answers his DMs, a, but I thought you had a direct line. And we can get the I'm direct too, line. We can. I could get it from day one, dude. Day one. Day one's got the direct line. I had Luis Cruz. Luis Cruz got it too. Definitely, he's got he's got it for sure. Go check out Chase Gabor's new web, uh, new YouTube channel, Storied Skateboarding. He's he's getting a little good. He's gotten pretty good stuff going on here, man. He's getting some views he's getting over some there. Views, I'm telling you, give him some stuff. views, man. Three videos and they're doing pretty good so far. Not bad. Not, Not bad, bad at, all. at all for just starting. Let's get it. Good stuff, man. <sighs> Now we're gonna watch some skateboarding. Oh, what are we watching? Yes. <laughs> what are we watching? Ooh. Right mm. there, skate mafia. <laughs> Someone called it skate mafia. Skate mafia. You see, when he clicked the tail, he flew. Chris, can we get an impression of Rodney throwing up the skate mafia sign? I don't want. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. This like, is how you do. The I don't even know how to do the skate mafia <laughs> sign. I always do it wrong. I always do it like that, but then I'm like, oh, it's that way, and I'm like, oh, I don't can't remember. But I, I love I, Skate Mafia. I, yeah, yeah, it's one of those two ways. Dude, shout out to Skate Mafia, man. Big I shout love, out. I love their squad. Straight up. I was tripping on. Okay, the the music in this was awesome. Great. The only reason why they could use that music is because it was on the Thrasher player all day. But I was bummed. <sighs> Is that it's on there for one day at the cover page or on the front page, and the next day it's the A6 video, and you, mm. it's not there. Like you can find so it. So you gotta like find it, and scroll yeah. for it. Well, scroll so down. As long guys. as you know what you're scrolling for, but yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I'm bookmark like, it. Yeah, I just it's just a that was amazing. In, yeah, it's an interesting way of uh, how skate videos are put out out that out, was... out through Thrashers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. meaning and, yes. But like you can only do. I mean, but here's the thing though, couldn't you? Put this video out on your ch- YouTube channel with the same music, but it's not monetized. It depends, it? man. It depends. So wait, yeah, you can. It right? depends. Yeah. It, you can, but they, what what happens with some YouTube videos and monetization things is they will block it in certain countries. Ah, ah. Okay. So if they put this out on their site, it could be blocked in maybe like thirty countries, wow. you know, or however many are blocked in that. Okay. I don't know. It, it's a weird place, okay. you know. Yeah. But now with YouTube's, I don't know. I don't want to get into the whole YouTube thing, but it, it, it's weird. Yeah. It's yeah. a weird. I think it's just a weird time. It's better than it was before. Okay. On YouTube, yeah. I mean, before, yeah. I mean, they would mute the sound. They would do all this stuff. They'd make you change it. But now it's getting better. So I'd like to see where where it lands in about you know a couple of years. 
with the music stuff. Yeah. Anyway, Brandon Turner. Shout right? out to Brandon Turner. Still holding it down, bro. Doing his damn thing. I'm so stoked to see this dude doing this, man. Ooh, Trayvon Ball Buttery. Yo, this was the clip <laughs> right here. That big ups, bro. He's still traveling and everything. Uh, no, it's, it's refreshing to see this dude, man. I mean, A is a cool ass dude. Always been, but. Not all, all the dudes at that age are still dude, jumping dude, down that stuff. Was, he caught that. Problem. I mean, I don't know how. I know he's like probably at least he is definitely close to forty if he's not forty. He's old. He's, he's if in he's his in 40s. his forty, bro. Yeah, big ups, bro. Hey, this was absolutely terrifying. Ah, yeah, he, he got out of that. That is terrifying, dude. After that, but All also right. he's he's forty one. He's forty one, but also he like. Jumped off a bridge and broke both his legs. Yeah, you know what I mean? So true, like, bro. He's been he went through a, a lot. He has been he through has. a lot. Man. Yeah, he's killing oh, it now with this little rehab center and he stuff. He really like that. is, man. Alexis, I, you know, so he was on DC and um, he does look really good at Nikes. That's for sure. And this guy's, he, I've seen him as a little kid at that Memorial Park. He's so good, bro. Yeah. Ooh, love over. I definitely mess with this dude. Looks so sick. Look at that spot. Little, like it's a perfect run up for it too. Like a, you just throw down into a little he bank. Nolly healed and then, that thing. Maybe Nolly back healed it. Mm -hmm. Buttery. Sometimes a Nolly heel straight over. It just I don't know, man. Don't get me wrong. Nolly back heel is just as gnarly. But going straight over with a Nolly heel, yeah, mm -hmm. is just a little uh, degree of difficulty is a little bit harder for me. That's what I think. For what? sure. The well, running I'd, I'd up agree. a rail. Uh, San Diego has got crazy spots. It's just so secluded down in Southern California that it's yeah. hard to like access that all the time unless you just go down there all the time. Totally. But what's awesome, what they have that they know that no one really takes advantage of is going to Mexico and skating. Mm -hmm. A lot of the footage they have in this is in Mexico. Wow. And it's banging spots. I didn't even dude. notice. I didn't even know that. I mean, they're, they're close. Yeah. They're close. It's, that spots in La Jolla, I think, is so gnarly and rough. It's just the ground is ass, and it's steep. Yeah, it made it look easy, but it's yeah. it's one of those spots where you're like, oh, that's that's rough. Dragon wheels. Dragon wheels. Mm. There you go. Dude, Javi. Mm -hmm. Throwing a little clip in there. Switch yeah. crack tail. Great clip. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, and Jamie Palmore, OG, but also like. That was amazing, bro. I will come. I so like even like you, Chris, and, and Roger, to be honest, or all the guys that are doing the curb skating, that you guys weren't necessarily. Chris, you weren't skating curbs when you were like the majority of your career hell no so it's like the finding this new talent and being really good at it like jamie's killed it and so you guys but damn that was amazing he did that so good steven lawyer dude so good bro. he's been dude remember his, his phase of his camo pants bro <laughs> his trick selection and what he's capable now. of is so insane bro i it's, love this trick the the back freaking what is it uh Back five zero for one eighty out. Back something. salad. All the tricks he does are different, and like he he kills it, bro. Real talk. I mean, he's getting tech. He's doing Ooh, new stuff. All been, the time. But he's been tech. Yeah, no, he was on flow for exhibition doing. I remember he did back susky hard flip out in the middle, yeah, and I was like on a flow kill. Like, this is pretty psycho right here, bro. Yeah. But I, I think that's what drives him is always just trying to learn something completely new. No one does. Totally. Oh. How dude? He did that. That's he crazy. he like rolled over that yeah. kickflip rollover. That's a, yeah. That's a very San Diego <laughs> spot right there. <laughs> that's been around for a long for days. Yeah. Yeah. That's life time. videos. Yeah. Oh yeah, huh? <clears throat> mm -hmm. I was, I think Tyler. I don't want to say like favorite, but I was really impressed by Tyler's part. Me too. Big I've time. always been a huge fan. Man. I've always been a huge fan of Tyler. He skates fast. He's doing. I don't. This. Have you guys you skate skate that spot before? Brother, right? It's nuts. I, it's, it's not. One, it's one of those things you just never. You don't think of skating nollie off of. No. It's like what? barely right up at your little nollie. We're talking about NBDs. Nollie foot front nose two seventy. Carl, Carl Watson out. All his tricks are very hard. Yeah. <laughs> Put it that way. Put it that way. Yeah. I'm stoked. You don't see it like another NBD right here. Dude. Damn. I've seen it done switch. Which weirdly enough makes more sense to me, right? You yeah. know what I mean. Yes. Like, uh, I agree with you on that. But that spot is perfect for that, right? Definitely. If you're good it, at front it, side, it really definitely. Is, yeah, man. that little bump to Manny. It looks. If you haven't seen his nine club, go go peep his, bro. Yeah. He's definitely. 
shed some light on his story. He uh yeah, full like he's in uh he's full he's in Spain. He reminds he looks like the dude from this uh money heist. He looks like the Spain the Spain or the professor. You guys nice. have seen that. Wes then, Kramer, then dude. this dude just yeah. never t- skips a beat, bro. It's insane. The most non-social media dude just fucking is the one of the Damn. best dudes. Really, yeah. I love it. I would love to see you on social media, though, bro. Yeah, you know what? You're not. Yeah, it's gonna help you. You don't gotta post like what you're eating for breakfast. Like, you know what I mean? No, like, dude, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm doing this every day. It's like people want to see you skate and not. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't have to be through one channel on a skate video, you know? I'd rather watch it from you. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, if, yeah. if I could if I could if I support a skateboard, I'd rather just pay them. Yes. You know? Instead of like, I don't know, give it to a brand that they give them two dollars. I don't know. I feel you on that. But yeah, this dude continue continues to kill the game, bro. It's insane. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> That's he, a crazy I look know, at that right? look at this photo right here, dude. Bop. Yeah. He's grinding that's on both. That's insane. Yeah. So that's a Willy grind slash Susky grind. No, I'm sorry. Even, uh, f- yeah. Say, uh, yeah. I mean, no, I salad guess. grind. I Wait, no, it's a Susky grind. I'm it's like, like a I'm, salad Willy. Salad salad grind. I'm like insane. I can't remember. <laughs> salad grind, uh, Susky grinds. I'm like, Will. Salad. I'm like. It's a Willy salad. I never really did either of those tricks. <laughs> That is that's a Willie. That is a Willie salad. That's a Willie salad. <laughs> that's a Willie salad for sure. That's a Willie, Willie salad. Willie salad. Oh, right I up. love it. The Willie salad. What you doing a damn Willie salad? Man, we get that Willie salad. Getting buck still, dude. Got a four and one hoodie on. That was hard. Okay, this is incredible. I've never seen anyone do it. Switch back. Like oh, the hard way. Yeah. yeah, never yeah. seen that no, in my life. Not at all. Not at all. Maybe regular tray flip. But not oh for regular switch. I, I've done that actually but yeah. not Kelly over here I've has done, done, done that but not not switch Mm-mm. this kind of reminds me of Alex Wilms like John West John West but also uh, mm, dude, uh train, that was train wreck rewind that yeah. real quick Chris that that nose grind he like gets on it and then pulls it up on over like see how he gets on it gets his like momentum and then it just locks in he's like. Uh, and then it goes, it, it, and then locks in. It locks yeah, yeah on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Comfortable, bro. How many stairs is Jeez. that? Like, uh, 12, 18, 13, 18, 14, at least. 26, 82. It's a, it's a, into tr- the bush. triple curved kink into the freaking dirt. Buttery switch, yeah. That thing is huge. I think it's the same one that Chris Lambert almost kick flipped. I don't know. Damn, that was a, yeah, that's big too, bro. I love that trick down the huge stairs. It's so like Charlie. the fun. It's just the fun feeling when you're just floating in the air like that. Right. But that it means, doesn't feel like a regular ollie, like no, by any means. No, no. it feels like you're actually trying a trick. Yes. Like ollies down things. I don't know why. I never like. I didn't like ollieing. Like if I was in a skate like a ten stair, I, I did not want to ollie it. Right. I would do it sometimes. Yeah, but so it's just kind of just your base on to yeah. feel how you know how the drop is. Just, <laughs> that was front. so good, bro. Jeez. And then, goodness. I love that he kind of sketched out right there, too, yeah. but like still pulled away. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand how he does that. I wasn't mad at that. Like to commit every try down a twist front blunt, down a rail that's 12, Mm-mm. no, 15 feet long? Nope. Mm-mm. I'm good. Yeah. Congratulations, to those guys. Go buy Skate Mob. Hey, and go buy the mini deck. Oh yeah, that's the hot, micro hot the, in the streets right now, dude. People are doing some sick stuff on that, man. <laughs> that's more impressive. I feel it like. really is, man. I I saw people like Copenhagen doing it, and I just it's insane. Nollie flip crooks and stuff like that. I don't even get it. What's up, Chris? Nothing. Yeah, I'm just, just letting just do my thing over here. Yeah. Right, we man. need to get one of those boards, dude. They brought yeah, one over. I think Brand or no, no Tyler brought one over. But like he had to bring it. They're like a hundred bucks, man. Dude, DC, Dan you can do Conley. tech deck right here on the on the table. With you. I know it's like a handboard. <laughs> yeah. What was that dude's name? Oh man, I oh. follow him now on Instagram. Happy, I know happy, we, happy hands. Happy feet McGee. hands. I don't know. Happy hand, uh, dude, dude. Oh my god, it, I blew it. Handy Henderson. Handy Henderson. Handy Henderson. I blew it, dude. I was supposed to send him shoes. Yeah, I was gonna send shame. him some for his hands. Send him gloves. For, <laughs> no, I was gonna send him some shoes for his hands. 
and shoes for his feet. I was Amazing. like, let's make. I totally spaced it, dude. Handy. It's all right. You'll get it next next week. Maybe. I can next do it week. tomorrow. I can do it. Send it out. Um, but yeah, he could he could run that hand board yeah, thing pretty yeah. good. But yeah. he's pretty good at the normal size board. Too. That was the normal size board though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he likes some big, yeah. big boards. But, <laughs> yeah, he's used to that. The thing that I we just talked about. I mean, the, 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 these guys are so you know getting so damn good and creative, and then you got Uto in the in the in the park just doing some wizardry. That's man. I mean again. God damn. Innovation is real right here, bro. I'm so, I'm happy he's sometimes they they wait for the contest to come around to leak that but it's still going to get the craziest score possible. Yeah. Oh dude, come oh, man. But, look at this dude. Well, so he's we, got Well, wait a minute. Let's yeah. say, let's let's break this down. Yeah. He's got that trick on lock. The Nod 270 yes. side, yeah. He's got that. He could do that in his sleep, which yeah. looks like he's sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. But then to spin it around, I mean, it's the evolution of that trick, obviously, right? It's just the when you have control, well, he's done it so many times. Oh, yeah. That he has such control of it. And Switch Tail 270 is somewhat, I'm going to say, easy trick, but once you get it down. Yeah, but when you're doing a fucking yeah. windmill into it, it's a little but then different. You, but when you're so good at Nolly 270, no slide, yeah. then you're like, okay, what's. The continuation. Like, like, he's already ready to come off of it when he gets on of it. Yeah. He gets on it. It's so crazy. I'm not a fan. Like, when people do backside uh, 270 lip slide, they, they do the backside 270 lip slide 270. Have you mm -hmm. guys seen that? Mm -hmm. And they just slide on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of that, but this trick is different. Totally. Well, I get what you're saying. A whole different scenario. You no one did a Nolly 540 and just hit the, the rail. Yeah. That's pretty much what they're doing these days. I had a, at first I had a hard time saying what this trick was. Like not necessarily this trick, but Nolly Nolly backside two seventy. I would say to no slide, right? Mm -hmm. So what would you call Nolly like the the Gino, the Nolly two seventy to back front side no slide to switch back tail? Yeah, but then you're, that's the same trick, but you're saying the same different thing. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? True. So I'm always like, wait, what is? Is it Nolly two seventy to tail slide or Nolly two seventy to to no slide? I mean, no slide look, or tail slide? It's all subjective, dude. Like we understand what we're looking at, yeah. so it's like. But if you want to get it technical, makes sense, it makes sense yeah. that way, and it makes sense the other way. Yeah, you know. What do you call it, Chris? Well, the no <laughs> <laughs> back side. <laughs> To baloney say, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'm so bad with names. I, I, I even stopped just trying to make uh, make sense of what the hell's going on anymore, Dubs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's. It, I, All I we do it. is try our best. Whew. It's amazing that skateboarding's even it, me, it, like Rodney was saying. It's just like this new tricks just getting evolved left and right. But there's certain people that only take it that way. Yep. That to that far, and that's not a trick. Like you've seen him doing it in contests for a while. No one else is doing that. Mm -mm. When you saw like Trey Flip Nose Blunt come out, you start seeing people doing Trey Flip Nose Blunts. You started getting all these nose slides, you s but you're not seeing those tricks. No, not at all. You're not, I don't know. That's crazy know that either. he's just bringing it straight to like the contest. Yeah. It's impressive. You know what I'm saying? He's not even showing you in like a video part. He's showing you on Instagram, like, I'm about to take this to the contest. <laughs> Yeah. Period. He'll do it in the streets too. <laughs> the he, video, will. he will. The He'll video the part too. he did with Kevin a couple years ago mm -hmm. when he won the Olympics and put a part out, the VX, he had to put two parts out. That was one of the best parts I've seen in years. For sure. That's just Nolly 270 lip on Hollywood 16 with a freaking mask on. I mean, <laughs> he styled it out with that. I'm going to give it to him on that. That's for sure. What are you laughing at, Chris? Oh, it's just, you think I'm making fun of Rodney Mullen, and I'm not. It's just, it's laughable. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're just having fun, dude. God damn it, man. <laughs> we gotta be Jesus able to have Christ. fun. Have you seen Jason Dill come on here and do the same voice? Have you seen Fabian Alomar? Yeah. Everybody that comes on yes. has a Rodney Mullen in person. Yes, they do. Like, yeah. come on, dude. Yes. We're just having a good time, man. We, and We, we love Rodney, bro. Yeah. yeah. Listen, this shit went fucking crazy, bro. What are they doing out there, man? Listen, the Dolores Hill bomb. Man. So, this is year, this has been happening for a while. Like, they've been doing this Hill bomb thing. Oh, for a long time. Yeah. It's just, what's going on here, dude? Like, you're destroying your own city. Yeah, you guys got to watch it, bro. I fucking love skateboarding. I love, you know, the, all the antics here and there. Yeah. But, like, bro, this is a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? You got to. 
Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we already have it bad enough as being skateboarders. You want to just add another layer? Like, come on. Yeah. This is too much right here, though. It's, it really it, is. Yeah. I mean, the SWAT, that is gnarly, dude. Bringing out a SWAT team. They do the hill bomb every year. It is a, it's not, they don't get permits. They don't get anything. It's just they they, they barge it mm -hmm. for sure. So, I mean, the, the city probably considers it an illegal yeah. activity. You know, they shut down the whole street and just take over, right? Yeah, they treat it like it's a protest. Yeah, but all this other extra shit, bro. Come on. Man. Oh, the, yeah. the graffiti shit and all that, like taking over a whole city block. It's a bit much. I mean, can't you get electrocuted up there? Jesus Christ. It's a... F yeah, I, I mean, I mean, it's, skateboarding in San Francisco is known for bombing hills. It comes one and the same, right? Yeah, but like, the, the, like I, 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 are you, are they surprised that the SWAT team came out? Like, you know what be. I mean? I, that's be. what I'm saying. I was like, it's crazy. Like that's what they did. Yeah, it's not like they did something min minor, and it's like whatever. It's like, dude, there's dangerous sh stuff. They had to going. prepare to do all that. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Get all those like officers together, yeah, and get them in SWAT gear. Yeah, you know I mean, like, oh, it took a while for them to assemble. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Probably not that long. They probably have it down. They could probably assemble in ten minutes. Hmm. But I don't know. It's. I was just trying to read here what started it. Thirty-two adults were arrested. Eighty-one minors were cited for a slew of charges, including mm. inciting a riot, unla unlawful assembly, violence against an officer, and resisting arrest. When you're a, when you're a skater, um, hit a bicyclist and killed the bicyclist. So what? That's, oh. Yeah, that's why they're in, wait in this like not, not this, this not this but, but not this in year, years past. Year past yeah. Oh yeah, and for then sure. like one year, um, Phelps went down, hit his head real hard. That's right. That was gnarly. That. that was definitely gnarly. That was gnarly. Um, well, I mean, come on, let's take it easy, dude. Like, let's not. If you're gonna have a tradition like this, like, let's go about it the right way, bro. At yeah. the end of the day, Just and the let's permit. make a, a, a better name for skateboarding. You know what I mean? Like, I get all the, ta the the antics. Like, look, we used to go out and, and tag our little names back in the day as skateboarders. Like, but come on, man. It's just, this right here does not look right. And I'm yeah. just being honest. And it's, it's, we gotta be better, bro. Yeah. We already have enough, like, dealing with being a skateboarder, bro. We don't need more layers. Man, that's crazy, bro. Let's take it easy out there. Let's, let's like, if you're going to do something, like, it's a, like, bombing hills and skateboarding is, is something that's exciting. It's yeah. very dangerous to watch. When you watch those videos, you're like, oh, my God, that's gnarly. But don't make it bigger than that and then do all the extra things that are just, you know. If you could do that without involving other people getting hurt, totally. did all day. But if you're endangering the other people. The funny thing, they're trying to keep everyone safe, but they show up in riot gear with, like, shotguns, at like, aiming at kids. That doesn't help either. Oh, that's Obviously, on, on, yeah. on the SFPDs, that does not help either at all. It's going to incite them and make them do more things. Right. I mean, that, that will cause a riot almost, yeah, right? It creates yeah. more danger. Yeah. For sure. I've never even... Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, as, like, as a skateboard side, like, I'm all for the hill bombing. It's yeah. exciting to watch. Totally. But let's just not get other people in danger. And also, the the SWAT team's a little, maybe a little much, but it, when skaters see that, they're going to react to that. Definitely. And go and sometimes Keep going. skateboarders are going to push it a little bit more. Yeah. It, it, it goes without being said, but like... Again, they should definitely watch themselves, and you will not be arrested yeah. for doing these things. That's hmm. a that's a crazy, it's a crazy subject right there. To be <laughs> honest, you know, I like we like it, as us skating around here. We don't we don't skate like that, you know. No. We're not bombing hills like here, like so. I don't know what that's like. Totally, you know. But that's and it's, this has been a tradition for yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah. This, this Dolores Hill bomb, and they yeah. should continue it, but just be better next going into. And I mean, probably every year. if there is going to be a next year, we don't yeah. even know. They're probably going to prevent it based on just this. So, I mean, there is there is a way to make it happen that's like legit and totally. like to make it entertaining and mm -hmm. whatever and be like natural skateboarding. But I don't know. That's. We'll see how this pans out. Again, um, I think that all that could have been avoided with all the extraness, but, you know, 
<laughs> Skateboarders definitely get provoked sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh. Well, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Oh, what is it? Willie? No, Willie. Willie salad. <laughs> uh, Willie salad. Willy salad. Yeah. Yeah. It's got croutons, <laughs> With the tomatoes, <laughs> Caesar dressing, a little bit of chicken. Willie Salad's got Caesar? Willie Salad's got everything. Oh. Willie Salad's got Thousand whatever Island. You, whatever Willie you want. Willie Salad's got Italian. <laughs> Willie Salad has ranch. <laughs> it's got Caesar and ranch? And Thousand Island. And thou- I'm going to try the Willie Salad. Oh, the Willie Salad is good. It sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my you God. Want to toss? Yeah. <laughs> Do you Rod, want it tossed? Rod will toss it for you. There it is. Yeah. Do you want it tossed? Raj is going to toss your Willie salad. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take him a second. Hold on. Rod's going to town. <laughs> what do you prefer, jelly or syrup? <laughs> Both. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is the best. Yeah, that's a good way to turn it around. I don't know if I drink enough. I don't know. I didn't drink enough coffee, man. Turn it around real quick. Burning out, man. You know. You know. You know what would help me burning out? Ooh, (laughs) there we go. Let's brighten it up a little bit. Come on, baby. That's right. There he is. There he is. And there he is. (laughs) And there he is. Let's go. That song picked me up a little bit. Yeah. Picked me up a little bit. The intro did too. Back. The in- I don't know, the... though, man. I drink. I drink a couple. I'm just, I'm just burning out. It's not working. Burning out, man. Well, it's the end of the day. It's true, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for bed. Okay, number one, budget or buttery. This is again from our Discord. If you are a member of our Discord, there's a uh, channel on there saying budget or buttery. Leave whatever you want to know that Jerron thinks is budget or buttery on the Discord. Yeah. Starting with number one, asking friends or family to help you move instead of hiring movers. Buttery. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you ain't, please, you ain't. everybody, please come help me. <laughs> please come help me. <laughs> these prices for these movers are different. <laughs> they can be expensive. I mean, you gotta be, have you gotta pick people with like trucks and like yeah. You know, I'm anybody like, just gonna fill up my back seat. Pick, with, anybody's got a pickup. Mm-hmm. Or a, a truck or anything, a moving van. Yeah. So maybe you run, you get the truck, mm-hmm. the U-Haul, but you help. We have your friends help. Oh, you move please, it in there. yes, that oh, would right. that would be very helpful. Kelly yeah. will help in a heartbeat. Oh, dude, you and know, I'll, hey, and I'll buy food for the day. Oh, I'll be there. You know, yeah, food you for the day. You won't be moving, but you'll eat the food. I'll be like, yeah, I'll eat yeah. the food for sure. <laughs> Remember when I moved from here, Kyle Berard came and did Nine Club, and yeah. Kyle was like, "Oh, dude, I'll help you move." He's. The I man. was like, "What?" He's the. He's just like, no. He just know. He's like, oh no, it's easy. Boom, done. I was like, yeah, you have homies like that? He yeah, did. I help. I helped him obviously. That's like we, so dang. But like, when you have homies like that, it's crucial. Yeah, yeah. I, I, went, I went home. I went home. Yeah, you were. I ain't hire home. no movers. Are yeah. you serious? What about number two? Uh, a river float with the boys. River float with the boys all day. Okay. Buttery. Okay. Buttery. Hard. You have a couple cold ones. Yeah, I mean, if it's, <laughs> if it's not too crazy, yeah. Have you have you done that? I did that, dude. I had to save my homie, bro. He was Uh-oh. like, <clears throat> where do we go? Uh, we were at the Kern River, and we were going down one of these little, like, rivers. And, uh, bro, he, it, it, in the midst of us, and you're supposed to hold, be holding on, right? Yeah. In the midst of us going down this river, they're like, all right, well, mind you, this is going to get a little choppy, right? And just you got to be aware, lean into the boat versus like trying to just lean mm. out. Dude, my buddy C leaned out the boat. Oh. And he was like out of the boat for like, it seemed like 10 seconds. It was probably like five seconds. But we, I had to like come out of myself and pull him out along with a couple other guys to get him back in the boat. Oh my He gosh. was about to go overboard. Oh, he didn't go overboard yet. He no, was, he, was he was like, out, his head was like oh, in, in the water. Like, bro, like, yeah. And we had to like grab his, like, his life jacket and it pulled him back in. It was insane. Like, to the point where I'm like, we, we saved your life right now, bro. But so we're going to do a river flow with the boys, but we're going to be a little more careful. 1,000%. Right. No, but don't, right. don't go down the choppy part. Go like a mellow river where it's like, you're just... You're we were like adventurous. We were adventurous, bro. We went down the choppy That's part. That's like wild or was a river rafting. But, but real. Like, <laughs> it was real. <laughs> That's gnarly. Yeah. It wasn't no Magic Mountain shit. Yeah. <laughs> that is gnarly, yeah. Oh, man. So river float with the boys, buttery. I'm all for it, for okay. sure. You got to be careful. What about number three? Saying one more try, but you keep trying after that. 
Uh, dude, I've done that many times, so I'm going to go ahead and say it's buttery because usually it doesn't happen all the time, but usually when I do do that, I'll end up getting it later. It might not be that try, but usually it, yeah, it works itself I out. I think we're all guilty of that. Yes. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things where, like, you keep saying it yeah. just because it helps your motivation, and your mentality based yeah. on you trying to stay in the game. But then, when you're done, you just yeah, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Bro. I'm sorry, man. I got one more try. Yeah, one more, one more. Uh, but then, oh, so really quick, then you come close. Oh no, it brings you back. Yeah, yeah you're like oh, last try. I swear, like, if I don't come close, or if I don't, whatever, if I don't land it, I'm not, and then you come close. Like, no, no, one more yeah, try. Like, since I got close <laughs> on that one, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about number four? Putting chips in your turkey or ham sandwich. Buttery. I'm not mad at that. I, I definitely have done that. I've seen Mike Carroll do that. And he does it very like he's like placing his chips on there like all oh, perfect. Damn. He gets he gets, like, he gets really it. into into it. Why um, I pictured Lay's. Lays. Yeah, Lay's. Yeah. Perfect. That's yeah. a perfect lay down. It, it was nice. <laughs> it's a perfect lay down. <laughs> Is there anything else you can put? Uh no, I, it's usually that like that salty like Lay's type of chip. Okay, yeah. right. sea salt type of yeah, sea like salt. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be good chip. Not even sea salt. 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 Yeah. I put Fritos in the quesadilla ones. That was, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, yeah. I was I was struggling was that, that day. Yeah, it was one of those. It was a day. It was a, it was a New Year's Day. Okay. You, already, you already know what that means. So. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Lifestyle with rich and famous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What about so it's a uh, buttery putting the chips in the in the yeah, hammer buttery. turkey sandwich? Yes. Yeah, you don't have to keep reaching for chips; it's already in your sandwich. We doing it uh, dry, or are we putting some condiments on it? As far as well, like, I don't know mustard, mayonnaise. Oh, all day. Okay. I'm not dry. No way. Okay. You no, not like Rodney? No, we no. don't do dry shit. Okay. <laughs> Just making like sure. That. Just not making like that. sure. <laughs> nope. What about number five? Skate company collaborations. There's a lot of those going on. Buttery. Okay. Buttery. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't as acceptable. Now it's a little bit <coughs> more acceptable than nowadays because everything's acceptable these days for the yeah, most part. Yeah, but let yeah. me ask you a question. Like, what if, I mean, for me, it's got to make sense, yeah, right? What yes. if it doesn't make sense? Some some of these collab collabs are out of left field. This is true. I mean, I, th I think the story behind it is definitely going to help it make sense, but you have to make it make sense. But if it's just like random, you're like, wait, why did they do that? And there's nothing behind that. Yeah, that would be considered budget. What about this collaboration? Vans and Sesame Street. I'm sure that's been done. It just happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Vans does a lot of kids shoes. No, 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 no. So, no, no. But it was, for me, it was left feet. I was like, what? Yeah. Sesame Street? Totally. I was like, all right, cool. Like, But like that. <laughs> I, they sell a lot of kids shoes. I know, no, 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 no. All no good. Doubt. It was just, like you said, left field. Yes. You're like, I'm like, whoa, that was. There's going to be a lot of those that are yeah. happening for sure. Thrash and Lacoste was kind of left field. That was right. That I right. one thousand percent thought was left field because Thrasher doesn't usually do things like that, and for them to pull themselves out of what Thrasher is, mm -hmm. I thought that that was definitely left field. Right. I saw that kid Reese in his part. He had uh, he had one of those shirts on. He did. The mm -hmm. Lacoste and Thrasher. I'm like, oh, it looks dope. It's funny because like both of them, both of those companies are like the most bootlegged companies. You know, what right. I mean? like. Maybe you that go down was the, the reason. If you go down to the beach here, you're going to see bootleg Ven uh, Thrasher. Yeah. And. Yeah. I was definitely surprised by that. I, I, yes. So. Um, buttery. buttery? Not for that. <laughs> um, I say buttery overall, but yeah, not for that. All right. What about number six? Eating food that requires a fork or spoon while driving. Budget. Mm. You're not eating uh, cereal. I don't know. Uh, not while I'm driving. No. I mean, yeah. No. I did. No. People do weird shit. When but people driving. do do that for sure. Weird shit. Yeah. Dude, I don't want to risk spaghetti. spilling and all that spaghetti. shit. Spaghetti. Like, Autopilot. Dude, I oh, picked up. Yeah, that up, works. For this sure. is Reyna. I was driving, but I picked up my. It was like 16. Picked up my homie to go skate. He gets in the car with the huge bowl of cereal. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It wasn't like this. It was like that big, a tin, like a metal bowl of Cheerio stacked. And I was like, sloshing around. What are you doing, dude? Yeah. What? It's my what? new car, dude. I don't care. It's my old car. No, I no car. It. Please, dude. Yeah. Please. Mm -hmm. I mean, someone asked if he was stoned, and I could definitely say he was, but still. Yeah, that don't matter. It don't matter, dude. Please Think don't bring about... your don't bring your cereal inside my car, bro. 
Knock that out Open of your hand. Open container cereal. Knock nope. that out of your hand before you yeah. get in the car. <laughs> Imagine getting an Uber like that. <laughs> and not saying a word. Not, just like sloshing back there. Just like, oh, just give him my hand. Just like, just like slurping it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be careful. Yeah. Hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about number seven? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a hamburger bun. Buttery. Why not? Oh. Yeah, if I didn't have no like regular bread... And the next thing was a little brioche bread. That was a hamburger bun mm -hmm. all day. I feel like it's a uh, fluffy. It's like, it is. I feel you, like it's you, too it's too airy. Then throw that in the toaster. Air it out. <laughs> I've never air thought of that. Out. Yeah, air, air that thing out. What mm. about you? Know, what do you guys? We got two the two end pieces of a loaf of bread for a sandwich. I'll I'll do it if I'm hungry. Real talk, and especially it's better for like a peanut butter and jelly all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'll down do for that. that. I'm down for that. Usually I don't do the end end pieces, but eh, once in a while I, usually, I don't either. But yeah, once in a while I could. I'll run it. Yeah. What, Raj? They're not bad. Toasted. Toasted. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot crispier. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. What about num? Huh? Much drier. <laughs> what about number eight? Cutting your burger in half. Just did it the other day. Buttery. I don't do. I mean, you can't. Well, you can do it. Uh, like you know, you're, you, when you go to like In and Out, and I wouldn't do that at In and Out. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're making a home burger, all right, 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 right. I do that. Really? I do. You and I, do and I cut the, it. You don't do it at the restaurant? No. No. no sometimes it, if it, the restaurants are, are sometimes they're, they're big. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but I don't do that. I did. It, it, it just oh, has just... to be a home burger. Like that's the only way I cut it in really? half. You just go for it. I go I, for if it. You're at like islands or something. Oh, like, well, islands. That what what if they be... serve it to you cut? Does that bother you? No, it thank drives you. me nuts. It does because yeah. you're like you didn't ask me if I I'm wanted. I'm like, to yeah, cut. I didn't want you to cut it. I want to just pick it up and eat my burger. You know. I feel you on that. Um, I'm down either way. I will take the cut, and I will do the cut. And usually, I do the cut for the for the little man for for. for oh yeah, son, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you take the crust off there. He when he requested. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, I was on the Are You Garbage podcast, and they asked me, "Is it or are you? Do you eat your burger upside down?" Mm. And I, I never thought of that, but people do that. They do you do. do that? No, I do not. Is that like an East Coast thing? I don't know what coast that is, but I don't do that. And I, I guess it's that, like common. Like normal. Yeah. yeah. And normal. they're like, no, I guess like, just, the, I don't know. I can't even I can't uh, eat, I, eat, eat I it upside like this. Do it. Yeah, like, I don't no, know. Dude, no. mm. I, I, don't I know. do what feels comfortable. Just and that don't layer feel it the opposite way. And huh? Just layer it differently. How just you want layer it upside down? Yeah. I guess you could. <laughs> okay. What about number nine, the last one, getting into the shower on the shower head side? Oh, that's super budget. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to be getting in your shower and you're going to be sp sprinkling outside of the shower as you get in when your body's touching the water. No, uh uh. We get in the opposite side where the water's not spraying as much, and that makes perfect sense. What about the people who get in the shower first, then turn the water on? You're already in the shower. And, yeah, but it, and the but sometimes it doesn't matter cold, what side, you get. It it matter what side you get in at that point. But sometimes it's cold though no, when, you start it, when you start it up for the first time. This is true. Yeah. But I don't do that. No, but you turn it on and you run the water on the, the faucet and then you turn it on, <laughs> pump the shower. There dude. you go. That's how you solve that. That's problem. how you get in the shower. No. Well, what the hell? That's not a... You... That's, well, if you're going to get in that way, that's how you would do it. You don't. Just I, totally I mean, for my shower, there's only one way to it, get though. in. I'm just saying. They just stand there and turn on the shower. It's cold. Oh shit, it's cold. And then it warms up. Yeah, dude, it's already on. in the shower. I'm sure. I, listen, but, okay. We have <laughs> talked about. I mean, people do some weird shit. Well, it's also based on how your shower is set up. Exactly. My true, shower true, true, is true. set up. I, my toilet's over here, so I can't really. It's like you can. It's just more awkward to get around the other yeah. side. My shower head's on this side. Yeah. I get on the shower side. But I turn the shower on, make it so it's hot. Okay. And then you get in there. Okay. You sit in the shower? <laughs> what? Waffle stomp. Who's asking? Wa waffle, no, waffle unfortunately, stomp. I don't do that. Uh, we don't no like waffle, waffle stomping. Stomp. No. Yeah. I wouldn't. Oh. Yeah. Um, so wait, how was this, the question stated again? Getting, Getting in the shower, shower head side first. Um, no. So no, I'm going to say but, budget. Budget, okay. But... <laughs> it depends how your shower. It depends out. on how your your shit is set up. That's yeah. for sure. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. What What about people? I mean, I see in, in here like shave in the shower, no nope. pee in the shower, waffle the shower. stomp in the shower. I pee in the shower. You not not. I definitely pee in the shower. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All day. You don't shave. I Somebody don't shave. brush no. you brush your teeth. I need to, I need to see what my face when I'm shaving. Yeah. I can't just be like. Oh, da, 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 da. Like no, <laughs> I gotta just be seen. Yeah. Like let on. me. See. I think I shaved right now. I'm not look. looking at it after. I brush your look. teeth. You sort of brush your teeth and shower. Brush my teeth. I could I could do that in the shower all day. Okay. Yeah. I don't do anything. I, I soap up in the shower and I get out. I That's don't do it. anything else in the you shower. You don't wash your face. You oh, know? yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I do all that. Okay. But I'm just saying extra uh, extra curricular activities. I don't oh, do, oh, I don't do your that. Teeth. You don't brush your teeth nah, in the no shower. No shower. No curricular no shaving, activities. Yeah, no shower. No, 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 no. I have to no, have no, a no. mirror in the shower if I'm going to shave. What about your legs? <laughs> No. Okay. No, you don't do that. Don't do that. Mm. Gotcha. Gotcha. That was fun. Yeah, I just clean myself in the shower. That's it. And I'm out. Yep. Actually, most, I love showers. Most though. I do wish that. I could stay in the shower for longer periods of time. I, mm -hmm. I know I was wasting water and everything, but I, I love a good hot shower. I love a good shower. shower. Especially, I'm going to say, like, when I'm feeling like shit, mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. I'll jump in the shower and the shower makes me feel better. Right. Oh, dude, yeah, if yeah. you're like, if you skate all day or you work, get a crazy workout in mm -hmm. and you chill first day and you get in the shower, you're just like, oh, the best. That's good. All day. Yeah. Shower radio. That's the thing. It's weird. I don't know if I, but I, I, I've thought about putting a radio in the shower. Mm -hmm. Well, I would do what I actually, I wouldn't work today, but like uh, getting like the Beats pill. Yeah. And just getting your laptop connected to it right. and blasting it, put it there and that's fine. But see, this is where yeah. I have issues, right? Because... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have, I have this weird phobia of like, I need to know, I need to kind of be able to hear what's going on. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like even, um, like sometimes I come in here and Roger, he's editing he and he, he's got his shit on and yeah. I'm like yelling at him. He's got noise canceling shit. I'm like, Raj, Roger, Raj. I'm literally yelling and he's just sitting there like editing. But you, know, so you got to go like yeah. tap it. But it's like, yeah. Yeah. But, I'm like, dude, I need to know yeah. what if something's at the door? What if something's burning out here? What yeah. if something's going on? No doubt. I need to, yeah. well, I need even, to know what's going on. I, I, I don't wear headphones in my house. I'll put music on, like to, but he's doing it for obviously for editing. So that, for sure, that for makes sure. sense. But yeah, I, I, that's very odd for me to be listening yeah. to in the house, like you're saying. Yes. Like, I want to hear yeah. what's going on. I need to hear. That's what the fuck. Exactly putting a, a radio in the shower. Yeah. Right. I, you, you don't know. Now you can't hear what the fuck's going on out, out, out in the, in your living room or yeah. the front door or right. whatever. Somebody's screaming to get out. Like, I don't know. Screaming it's already muffled. Get enough. Out? It's already to muffled. To get in or what, whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's already muffled enough by the shower. Yes, but you can hear stuff. You, you can, can hear the doorbell yeah. ring. You could hear certain no, things. No, but it's hard to, yeah, it's hard to hear anything when yeah, you shower degree, on. Yeah. Yeah, like it's, and now you're even doubling that with yeah. the, with the radio. <laughs> but at least you can sing a little tune. I ain't singing <laughs> nothing. In the shower. You don't sing. So like, true. Come on, you got, I know Jerron's singing in the shower. You already know. Yeah, I already know that. And it doesn't sound it doesn't sound good. No, but Sunny <laughs> it sounds day. good. Yeah. It doesn't. <laughs> da, 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 buzz away. Singing the Sesame Street theme song. Sesame you know? Street, That's it right there. Hyped on this van, Sesame Street collab. Yeah. Listen, Big Bird out now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, shower's just a way to, you know, get in, get out. I spend a lot of time in the shower, but I try to, you know, maximize my showering nowadays, yeah. Yeah. you know. I used to just kind of sit there, stand there. I mm -hmm. wish I could sit. You could get a little chair. I could sit in mine. A lot of my b b most brilliant ideas have come to me in the shower. Nine this is club. so true. Nine club. I, I Every think shower, that's very everything. true. Well... Man, you guys are sick. <laughs> Fox. Right. So I'm talking to you, Chad. You guys are Seriously? sick. You guys are sick as hell, man. Listen. What are they saying? <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it, uh, uh, Rog. Rogers. Rogers is his name, yeah. Yeah. We, we love, love you guys. We love yeah. you, Chad. Listen, we've oh, had a and great, all your ideas. We've had a great time tonight. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Listen, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I did burn out. Did I you? burned out halfway through, man. I just, I don't know. They I couldn't even know. tell. I'm just sad. But I felt, I felt a little burn, burnout, you know? I need more coffee, maybe. maybe mm. We'll spark it up next time. Next week, yeah, we're going to get yeah. you a good cup of coffee. Thank you, bro. appreciate that. But good stuff. Thank you, guys. Chat. Thank you to Twitch. Thank you to Kick. Thank you to YouTube. Yes. Oh, man. Thank you to Dubs. Thank you. Thank you to Kelly. Thank you, guys. Thank you to Roger back there. Thank you. Thank you to JC. Thank you, Chris. Fingers you. of Fury on the Googling. Man. Thank you, yeah. Christopher. Yeah, thank you, Chris. No worries, man. Here's there us. we are. <laughs> That's the face I'm. Uh, there we are. See, I'm like the only. Well, 
prepared. Damn, my, my arms are hella big, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get there, dude. Fuck it. I'm going I, for that. I'll let you take care of it, dub. <laughs> Looking like people. Straight know, up. Dude. I'm going for that. But yeah, Good man. Good lord, dubs. That's how I had to pull C back in. I had to pull him with that strength right there. Well, get a, back in oh, here. You got it. At least we've all brought our hats. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Is that a thing? Do you bring hats on stuff like that? Yeah, you gotta keep the sun out of your eyes. I think I, I might have had the hat off on this one. That's for sure. Yeah, that's tight though. Gotta that was that, that, that was fun. That, that was, was a good fun. time. We gotta do that again. Wild uh, river ride. Yeah. Wild times, man. Wild times. I think we covered it all, man. I mean, we we got into budget or buttery at the very end of that Made too. It, dude. Yeah. I mean, these these episodes have been going longer than normal, uh, like ex old experience shows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are like two hours. This has been going on two and a half. Two wow. And a half ago. Yeah. Is that all right, chat? Is that good? Are we are we all right, chat? Yeah. Well. So what's going on? What's going this? on, guys? Yeah, you guys us. like that? You guys like the uh, longer streams? It's a so, it's a strong stream. Hey, and if you liked it, click that like oh, button. Oh, you already yeah. know. Oh. You kicked that like right button. Now? Where are we at the like button right now? <laughs> Here we go. 611. Six hundred and eleven. Six. Not bad. What's up? They, Let's keep they really paid attention for last. Bro, we appreciate you guys. We Man. love you guys. It's as fun as hell. And Jeez. click that. Share it with your partners. Yeah, we're trying to get this episode to 75 million views. <laughs> we're trying to get Mr. B status. We're trying yes. to chip away at this. Yes. We're, we're close on his heels. Right there, huh? Yeah, we're pretty close. Clicking away. Yeah. We're not in the same error code. It's all... Oh, <laughs> shit. Thanks, Raj, for bringing yeah. us down there. Uh, I'm trying to think, man. I need to do the math. And you guys saw how bad I am at math earlier in the episode, but... Um, I'm just trying to think of what 75 million views would be in revenue. And mind you, everything's different in revenue, right? Mr. Yeah. Beast has a pretty family-friendly right. channel. He $4 for every thousand views, right? Uh, Roughly? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's I mean, we're, different we're, for every uh, channel. It's wait, different. what was that again? How many views? $4 for every thousand. I but how many, it. I bet he's got better... How many... Oh, yeah, he's probably got a better... What did you uh, say? 75 but million. But 75, 75 million, million divided by 11... Or uh, 1,000. You said a thousand views. Seventy-five million. A thousand? Oh, but then times it by four. Seventy-five million times four, right? No, no, no. no Seventy-five no, no, no. million divided, divided by, by eleven. Eleven divided times by it by four. Eleven equals eleven. Eleven. Uh, sorry. One thousand. Uh, a thousand. I don't know why I said. I'm about to push this. Uh, Which outro is button. Oh, it should be seventy-five million divided by what? One thousand. One thousand. Yep. All right, divided by 1,000. It's an it's easy number. I don't Equals know why. Times it by 5,000. Times, 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 times it by four. 75,000. Times it by four. Times four. Equals 300,000. $300,000. Good job. But that's you're just... You're, tell, you're, you're telling me a Mr. Beast video at 75 million views. with a, That's an a average. I mean, he could easily have oh, a higher... Oh, you're saying that's not a lot. Well, he could easily have a higher CPM. That's a thing. Yeah. It's like oh, he's, right. He, he doesn't cuss in there. He has he, words. I mean, it's very family friendly. But yeah, that's Damn. 300 grand an episode. I, I don't doubt it. I don't hmm. doubt it. I, 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 believe it. I believe it would be more, to be honest with you. Sometimes when he, goes, when he goes into these episodes, isn't he spending a good amount of money? Oh, hundred. He's sending he, he, millions. Over that. Watch. When you yeah. go, watch, if you can, just watch the latest one he's did about how it literally money isn't anything. Hmm. Like, he just, they, they just do it. Okay. Yeah. It's He gets like a 10 jet engines on one car and just launches it over like 10 buses. Just yeah. to see how far it yeah. goes. He's that guy. <laughs> He's that guy. And that's one of the things in this 12-minute video. Let me just see what I can do. We, yeah. yeah. We're almost there, though. We're almost 75 million. We're, we're right on the heels of that. So yeah. every, any like or share would help out with that. <laughs> I appreciate you. Bro. Uh, anyway, listen, we'll see you guys next week, next Thursday, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Get in the chat. We got, I'd love to talk to you guys. We got uh, YouTube, Twitch, and kick there we let's go. go there we kick go kick is starting to kick it in that's let's right it. that's right smelly capo has been holding it down yeah. Yeah. Guys, thank you smelly capo smelly capo all right everybody we'll see you guys next week peace and love, love have a great guys. one everyone see ya, see ya.